Hello everybody, my name is Suede and welcome to my stream. Uh, hello Theophile, hello Vaximilian, Gedistherosis, Lee, uh, Nicholas, and Vascaths. I'm glad you could catch the stream, Vascaths. I don't do these very often anymore, um, so you caught it at the right time, but I'll be doing more um, later in the summer. So there should be a few more chances if you guys aren't catching this one live. Um, no, oh my god. Sorry, I, I, I got the window open for chat, but it was actually playing my stream back to me, which was not what I wanted to do. Uh, I was just getting set up, um, being slim jeezy. Normally, I know people like if you start the stream straight away, in case you're like viewing it from somewhere else. Uh, but for me, I, I use the YouTube chat to actually see chat. So I need to like start the stream, find the stream on YouTube, open the YouTube video, and then scroll into the pop-up window and make it big. Um, so sadly, I can't start the stream right, right, right where the stream begins. Okay, yeah, but today we're going to be playing Deity, a single player. I didn't want to do, like, anything too gimmicky, because I find I'm, I'm really, like, chasing... Like, with the Temple of Artemis Arabs, Deity start was really promising, and I think you could definitely make a good playthrough from that, but it might be better suited for a video rather than a stream, because uh, it, it does require some specific circumstances. I just wanted to take what the gods of RNG are going to give to us today, and then just see how well I can do on Deity. Like, just with a normal start, can I just win? What kind of start do I need? Do I need, like, top 20%? Top 60%? Top 80%? We'll see how it's going to go. So I do like large maps. They, they do take longer, and that kind of has a downside. We'll talk about it in a bit. But they, they're more immersive, I find. There's just more going on. It's more interesting from a viewing perspective and from a playing perspective. Now, the downside is closing out those games becomes more difficult because there's just the victory conditions are generally more difficult to meet. Um, so, yeah, if I, I don't always finish the games I play on stream or even in video sometimes, and I apologize for that. But, yeah, sometimes it is just like four hours of me on, on in my front of my microphone just playing already won games. And I don't like that so much, especially for streams uh, where I think viewer engagement is important. So for this, we're going to be doing large. Uh, and we're going to see how far we're going to get. Okay, we're just going to do standard settings. So roaming, 4 billion, temperate, and normal. Now, I have two options for sieves. You can let me pick a sieve, or we could just, just do random. Um, this is up to you. I'm going to have do a poll on this right now. Okay, this is just going to be yes or no. I'm not going to let you guys pick. Um, it's either going to be, I'm going to pick one, or just random each time we, we generate a new map. I'm not going to be too picky about maps here. Um, so we might end up with some stupid sieve. Uh, but yeah, it's a continents map. Like I said, large continents map. Oh, no, that's not what I wanted at all. Good thing I caught that. Yeah, 70% water continents here. So yeah, Seafaring would be good, Expansionist would be good, everything's fine. I generally don't like Expansionist civs very much, at least for, for streams, because I find them to be too swingy. Like, either you get a pop, and you're playing on easy mode. Could be exciting. Um, or you don't get a pop, and you're just playing a one-trait civ. So neither of those is really ideal. I mean, the best case scenario is you get like a pop city that's pretty far away, and so you have to make some interesting game choices about what you're going to do with that city, how you're going to connect your empire, and how you're going to make it all fit together and use it to your advantage. Best civ is Aztecs and Romans. Um, <laughs> they're on two different planets in terms of tier my tier list, uh, but uh, both are fun civs to play, definitely. Um, but I find on Deity, uh, Rome just doesn't really cut it. They don't give you the advantage. They as a commercial civ, like you need something to get ahead early on, and Rome doesn't just doesn't really offer that. Hey Talos, uh, Joan of Arc. Oh my god, just make me play the most boring civ. Yeah. No, I'm gonna pick. Like I, I will pick something. I'll pick something, something nice, something interesting, something maybe we haven't done lately. Uh, but I will pick myself. As much as I would like to play Celts or Iroquois, uh, I'd probably pick something more middle tier, I guess. Maybe even low tier. Uh, 
Okay. Um, poll. We had some last chance to vote in the poll. Uh, ooh, just narrowly me picking is beating out random. So what would be our sieve for today? I don't want to play something super bad. I definitely don't want to play something expansionist for the reasons I listed. I'd rather not do seafaring too. Um, Samaria is really good. I haven't played them too much, but they're like good in a boring way. Hmm. Could do Ottomans. How would you guys feel about Ottomans? I know a lot of Civ 3 players really love the Ottomans, and I, I don't really... First of all, I don't think they're like at the top of the top tier or anywhere, or anywhere near there. I think they're an above average Civ, so that'd be... They'd have a, a bunch of good tools for us to make use of. And I know they're popular, and I haven't played them much, so... Ah, uh, yeah, as soon as I say Ottomans, oh, the yes option goes up. Oh, I, I see how it is. We're not doing Byzantines for this, no. I, I play Byzantines, they're just such a good Civ on island maps. Um, and I, I like doing, like, sewing, showing some of the lesser used civs some love. I'm trying to think if there's any civ on this list that I have not played at all on my YouTube channel, uh, for single player at least, and I'm kind of struggling to think of one. I remember at least one stream I did as Germany. Maybe China, weirdly. We could do China, too. Um, Japan, I, I must have done Japan. I can't, oh, yeah, yeah, for one of the streams. India, yes. Aztecs, yes. Iroquois, definitely. Mongols, probably not. Uh, not too cut up about that. <laughs> uh, Scandinavia, yes. Celts, definitely, yes. Carthage, yes. Uh, Samaria, yeah. It was the demigod single player video. Netherlands, definitely. Uh, America, I've done America for one of the first videos on my channel, actually. It's been privated or unlisted since then, but yeah, it was as America. I'm not going to play an expansion of Civ, though. Like I said, they're too swingy. Either, especially on day deal, like either you get what you want, you pop, or you don't. It's, yeah. Okay, um, we'll do a new poll then. China or Ottomans. And tell me what you like about the two different Civs. Okay, there we go. So yeah, just so you guys know, we'll be doing standard settings. So I say standard, they're not the ones that come pre-installed with the game. Pre-installed with the game would be something like... Like that? No, like that. Um, yeah, but these are the ones that, for example, some fanatics would use for Hall of Fame submissions. So, no, accelerated prediction. I hope this is not standard. This is terrible. It's not balanced. Ah, yes, these are standard settings. Like, these are the ones that come installed with the game, but this is what is typically played uh, by most people, myself included. There are some things I agree, I disagree with Civ Fanatics on. This is absolutely not one of them. These are the canon settings for Civ 3. I'm just, like, waving my hands in the air right now. Where am I going with this? According to me. Obviously, it's completely subjective. You can play what you want, but... Um, I don't really think there's any really valid reason to, eh. it, it can be useful to play without cultural conversions. I just think it makes the game more balanced, even if it makes it significantly more frustrating. Okay, uh, Quebec, France, <laughs> really? You're trying to, like, sell me on <laughs> playing France by saying Quebec? Oh my god. Um... Most Canadians are, at, at best, pretty neutral towards Quebec, if not mildly annoyed. Quebec is chill, though. Ottomans or Persians? Uh, not even any question about that. Uh, Persians are better than Ottomans, in my mind. Legit. The issue is, like, Ottomans, like, they make you just pay way more for the unique unit. Uh, it's it's too much of a pain in the ass. Uh, whereas Persia, you get to get the unique unit... Same ratio of cost, or ratio of attack increase. You get access to it earlier, and you get it um, at the same price. You don't have to pay extra for it. Okay, um, so yeah, this is it. It looks like China's very narrowly willing winning. 
uh, it's it's not if you learn French in Canadian public school and but they teach you like Parisian French, like French from Paris, uh, France French in public school in Canada. And then if you go to Quebec, like you can't understand what they're saying because it's just like a completely different dialect. Um, it confuses a lot of the people in, in France too, apparently. But yeah, certainly not if you're a budding language learner at a young age. Not a very good experience. Okay. Um, so yeah, it looks like we're doing China, I guess. Ottomans are going to have to wait for another day. We're doing China. China's a good sit to have though. Okay. Um, I'm going to like let, I don't want to do starts that are like, I guess I would do a start that was insanely good if it was like not in a boring way. What do you guys think of the start right here? Like this is clearly... You know, I'd probably play bad starts, too. Do you think this is interesting, though? We got some mountains, three bonus grasslands, and two rivers. Um, I like this because the rivers will not block our mobility, but they will um, give us commerce. And despite not being on the river, we still have fresh water from the lake. Hi, French. Mon français, ce ne va pas bien. I... I can't really, I can read it pretty decently, but I, I can't really speak it. I just, my brain reaches for words and I can't remember them. Uh, but if you write stuff in French, I can, I can understand what you mean, typically. Okay, so Nicholas, to build a hydro plant or to build the Hoover Dam, I'm pretty sure you just need rivers like within your big fat crops. You don't actually need to be on a river. Uh, definitely for hydro plants, yes, and for nuclear plants. Uh, I'm not 100% sure about um, Hoover Dam itself. Refresh until junk. What do you guys think? Play? Play? Or or not? So first worker move. If we do this, we only really... I guess we have this option potentially right here. Uh, but we have to hope that there's something good in this direction in terms of second city spots. Because we want our first worker move to be towards the second city spot. Um, so for that reason, I'm going to do here even though it gives us a little less mobility towards the center of the map. Uh, it gives, should give us more options in terms of where we're going for a second city. Uh, actually, maybe here was a case where I, I might have even wanted to... Huh. This HUD is a pain in the ass. Can I just do Gran? If I do, So you can't pop barbs if you have no military units. So I actually don't want to be building military units here. Eh, 22. I think I just do a grand here. Yeah. I don't want to have to deal with barbs this early. It would fuck me up too much. And it's like 60-70% chance you get barbs this early. I could like put a warrior here and one here. And then at least it wouldn't go into my city. But I don't want to have to deal with that, so this is it. We're doing grand first thing, I guess. Okay. Uh, and in case we pop up here, we're going to do this tile next. Why not plant first for extra vision? Well, I mean, if we if we walked here and we saw a cow, we might have walked, right? So generally, like, where you put the city is more important than the worker move. Um, so normally you move your worker first, and then you plant, uh, you choose, you plant or, or walk. Uh, but in this case, uh, I think it might have been better. No, I, I probably still was, was the correct decision. Decision. We're not, we weren't going to see that cow. Oh, I guess if we went here, we could have maybe seen the cow. I wasn't paying attention, though. Could I just do the pyramids? What would that be like? Isn't playing with no gimmicks itself a gimmick? That's an interesting way of seeing things. Seven turns for pottery. Where's the city going? We definitely want the cow, right? Let's do this. Yep, 
yeah, I think this is just going here. I think we have enough shields in the box for the uh the grant. We might not actually. Oh my god, we wasted twenty two shields. That's rough. I think if we used the, the lake we we could have got pottery a turn earlier, maybe. Whatever though. We also just didn't scout. Oh that was a mistake. Oh, that. Oh my god. <laughs> Control R'd my worker and fucked myself. No, if it was like wasting 40 shields, I'd consider the pyramids meme play, but. Okay, here's Russia. But this is the issue we don't get con because we didn't do warrior, and now we just end up behind on tech. Ah, two fish. And yeah, we'll get that eventually. Okay, let's do some warrior spam. Ugh. Oh god. Okay, he's not the warrior's not gonna or it's not gonna pillage the the road because it's outside my land. Barbarians won't pillage roads and or improvements in neutral territory. So if he like walks here, I just defend the worker and that's fine. Um because if I go if I put my warrior here, then um, it will bait him into attacking, which I generally want, but then it would fork the worker, and if I lose, if I if I lose the combat, I'm just in shit. So, so now we can do it. Good, we get the vet, and we can move on. This is good, actually. This is a little close. I might want to claim some more land. Issue is that I don't know what like what direction we should be. Oh my god, I wasn't even watching my tech. Um. I guess we're doing bron oh, doing our fuck it. We're doing we're going to war. Uh we'll see, Henny Simmers. We, we will see. Okay, I'm doing settler here. Oh, do we go for the hit? I want to get rid of this fucker. Let's do it. Yeah. Okay. Oh, elite. Um. Yeah. Sorry for. Uh, if you're in the Discord, it's. I. Uh, it's the most accurate place to get. I don't want to advertise my Twitter, but Twitter is also very convenient for me. What the fuck? Did I never switch over? Oh my god. This is a shit show. I think I del delayed, delayed my settler by one turn, too. Oh, I'm not even doing... Oh, my God. This is good land, though. Okay. Go claim this here. Are we tryharding guys or are we uh Oh this kinda works out. Uh this is look it's in the title. Is it is it not in the title, Bobby? This is uh This is Deity. And I'd be in deep trouble if this was Sid. Given how things are going or how I've played. So if I win the combat here, I can just fuck off, which would be nice.
Yeah, okay, good. There we go. Yeah, so the if I win the com the reason I forced the combat is because if I win the combat, then I can just do the settler immediately. So that was the idea there. Three. Still three. Oh man, no, I'm not playing this. Fuck that. No, not on this planet. N no, 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 no. It's too fucking scuffed already. That was a good start though. <laughs> Barb's did me in again. Okay, let's get worse land. That was too good. We're gonna find a worse land than that. Uh, maybe not that bad. Ugh. Huh. What do you guys think of this? Yeah, no, sorry. I just made too many mistakes. That was just tilting the hell out of me. I gotta pay attention. Just little things with tile micro, like not teching. I can't believe I wasted 20 shields there at the start, too. Because the barb hut. Ah, uh, I'm going to put this here. Oh, thank God. <laughs> Otherwise, we would have had a repeat. Oh, that's a much nicer cap, yeah. It's just easier to play, too. Like, it wasn't terrible before, but just hard to play. Okay, so three, six, four, 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 two. Okay. So it'd be three, three, two, four, four. Oh no, I, I misheard that. Okay. Um, I guess we're doing mid. Okay, there we go. Finally, didn't miss micro. And my worker moves last game. Oh my god. Is pretty brutal there. So just so you guys know, we don't pop hearts. Um, I, I fucking did it. Oh god, I'm reloading. This is insane. I cannot play and stream at the same time, apparently. <laughs> three, three, four, four, four. Oh. oh. Huh. So this, this here. Okay, and now this. Sorry about that. Okay, ideally, I, I don't like chopping early, but I think this is the best play here, just because we need a road towards the cow city. I want to put plant this specific cow city, um, because then I can get the hut. It's four away. And then we could do like something like like that to get the second cow. I guess we could just do one double cow city. But either way, like the alternative if I want to road in that direction would be um working in on these tiles, which is also not a great idea. So I can rename the city. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, but it does that if you try to plant the city and then you cancel planting. Okay, no mistakes yet, guys. Yeah, so my my mic is hard to hear. I can turn up my mic. Yeah, I'll just turn up the mic. Okay, is that better? Let me know if it clips. Guess we're going west. Oh, interesting. Huh. Four, four, four. Oh, just... Oh, 
Oh no, you don't. Don't don't let the don't get fucked by the border expand. If when the border expands, it uh redoes your city like your tile assignment micro. So just be aware for that. Yeah, this cow city is gonna be good. Actually, the game's kind of baiting us towards uh three three uh four four. It divides so evenly. I think the game's kind of baiting us into doing this city as second city. So I think that's what we're gonna do. Okay, here's our rival. It's Portugal. They start with the alphabet. They actually don't have mason. Oh, I got masonry. That's like a good tech to have. Uh, if I can get both, I'd take that. And if they'll give me alphabet. Oh my god. Is that better? Are you satisfied? Are you happy? Oh my god, that's... No, it's too dicey. No, um, I guess we're just taking pottery. Pottery is a good tech to have, especially in that cow city. It'll be kind of insane. And 10 gold is nice. It would be nice to like have a start on writing, though, which we don't have here. Okay, not going to forget my micro. We would probably want irrigation on the cow, actually. Okay, I think I've learned my lesson about not having units defending me. Um... So how would this irrigation look? We'd have to do two irrigations anyway. Yeah, we're just gonna mine it. Um, we have the option later on if we would like that option, but. Petitions. Um, Cowtown. Gaty without gimmicks is something else. If you, I mean, it depends what you mean, what you think I mean by gimmicks. Um, I'm like I would do the Great Library. It, it, it's not too too hard to do Daddy without gimmicks. Like I don't know. Do you think this land is too good? Uh, I'm gonna play through this one, but it's something I've considered definitely. I think just these few. Uh, we'll do one more exploring warrior. I think. And yeah, we're gonna do Grand here. It's too good of a city to pass it up in. Okay. This is why we scout. We got America here. America does not have warrior code. Uh, three techs. Three techs, since the same three techs, damn. This is more Portugal. If Portugal takes this land, they're probably going to get the gems, which is kind of a pain. But as long as I get, like, this city and, like, that and that, uh, I'm okay with how things are with Portugal right now. Uh, but, yeah, I, I should, while I still have the chance. Oh, I can get maybe Alphabet. So Warrior Code's not worth as much as... Um... Sorry, Warrior Code's not worth as much as Masonry. But I have more in the box towards Alphabet at this point, so um, he's willing to do the deal now. And I have more gold save up, too. Yeah, probably more uh, gold per turn for what it's worth. Um, okay. I think I'm just going to let my cap get a little bigger.
I need a I know I need a mind BG here, and I can do that right away. So no reason to wait. Okay, here's another Civ. It is England. Oh shit. Okay. Well, that gets me caught up. Yeah, it's not that like if you do Warrior first, it's not that hard on JD to be fine for Tex, as long as you just take what you're given. And scout immediately. Okay, we have a warrior. Should protect against barbs. I'm not going to get my workers fucked or anything. And now I can safely do settler. Uh, well, you can watch it later. And you can pop in with questions, Moz, if you have any. Yeah, like, what a good number for him to choose. Like, he could have been like, ooh, I want 70 gold. I would have paid 70 gold, but no, he wanted it for the memes. I appreciate that about uh, America. Oh, my God, speaking of memes. This is growing, yeah. It's wild because checking the happiness slider end of turn is like a habit for multiplayer that has not carried over to single player. Okay, yeah, that's good. Oh, I'm still doing min tech writing. That's that's what I want. Yeah. There wasn't something I. Portugal's the wheel. I could like buy the wheel, I guess. Yeah. So there's silks here. These are gonna be important to secure. I guess I'm pretty far from civs to this direction. Portugal's relatively close. Um. I think my next city is gonna be. There's like not a, like my two. These two cities are good, but everything else is not great here. I could do that. I don't think there's anything under there, though, so I'd rather stake out land near Portugal. Okay, so I did the control R there. That will give me the road um, in the middle of the turn instead of at the end of turn. So I can actually use that road to get my settler where I want it to be faster. Oh, this is going to be bad. Good thing I caught that. Fuck, fuck off. Are you for real? Get the fuck out. Okay. So I just do wait, just hit the W key hard. And then the wor worker finishes what it's doing. It's nice of him. Okay, that's still there. Yeah, and because we have the military police, we can take this all the way down. So sometimes shifting units over in terms of military police between cities can be quite useful. Okay. I actually, I, I probably should not have sent this warrior out. I guess it gives me map info. Um, but because it's here, oh, this, this timing works out well. Um, hasn't been going for that long, uh, Tota, or sorry, uh, Styrofoam Snake. Uh, some, I'm seeing some names here that I've never seen before in my life. So welcome to everybody who's new to my channel. Feel free to ask if you have any questions. Um, like I said at the start, we're just doing like a no frills daity stream. I, I interrupted myself. I'm not going to like intentionally avoid the great library but I, I don't think it's on the cards and i'm not like playing any particular map settings any particular civ or pursuing any particular strategy so that should actually make it easier to win on deity um arguably uh because i should be playing more flexibly but we'll see maybe i do need those gimmicks to win who knows okay so we secured the city we should have a buffer with Portugal. It's actually good Lagos is where it is because if there's like no, we don't have to, it's not on a hill. We don't have to cross the river to attack it. And if we get that, we probably get the gems too. Hey, BN. Um, no early game rushes to destroy a sieve. 
I mean, I wouldn't consider that to be a gimmick. It's just a strategy. Um, we'll see. Um, there's like there's plenty of land for me to grow here, so I don't think I'll need to. Um, but at the same time, my land's not great, so it's not like I can just scale off what I have. I probably will need to do a bit of fighting. For the gems, definitely, yeah. Um, but I'll probably use iron for that. That's not that useful, but okay. At least I may be pissed off England there. That's always something I want to do. Okay, so in this case, this is pretty clear angle to me to build a worker because the city is going to be really unhappy at size four here. Check it out. And doing the worker kills two birds with one stone. Yeah, so I could do this. How high would I, how much gold would I lose? So for two food, I could pay four gold. That's fine. It's a good deal even. What's the strat for best Chinese, best chances to pop a tech? Um, so play on a low difficulty level is the best thing you can do. Okay, there's no settler there, thank God. Um, beyond that, um, if you have no military units, you can't get barbs. Yeah. So you could consider that. Pop huts, like, go for a granary first thing so you don't have any chance of barbs, which increases your... Like, there's no reason, way to get, like, a tech above other things. But there's ways of not getting barbs. Okay. Again, excellent trading opportunities here. We've been really blessed with our trading um, so far this game. We could... Do any of these guys have writing? I could just buy iron working or mysticism or something. Um, oh, she has both. How did she get that? Anyway, feels more like a Pangea map kind of, but I guess maybe it's continents. Don't already research. Oh yeah, if you are, if you want a particular tech, then don't like start researching that tech. Um. Yeah, I, I could tell you some stuff about how to get particular text too. It's not like a ton you can do, but there's a little. Let's let's. No, okay, that doesn't even go any faster. Um, no, I'm more likely to lose that than I am to win it, and I don't need gold right now. Um, yeah, like, if I had the option to pay right now for a warrior, like, if this one disappeared, but I had the option to pay 25 gold to get it back, I would say yes to that option, so not worth it to attack there. You're gonna wait for Ryder? We'll see, Carlot. Uh, again, I'm playing the game flexibly. I'm not, like, committing to any one strategy. Guess we're just walking through their land now. <laughs> okay. Um. Guess we're doing that. Okay, this is another worker angle, because. Like, if we do just Settler, there's just too much wrong with doing Settler here. For one, we open ourselves up to unhappiness problems when we hit size 3. Uh, for another, we don't have any worker moves in Nanking, let alone the city we're going to. So the Settler does not get tempo. Like, we can't follow the road to the place where we're going. Um, on top of that, yeah, like, it would be undefended unless we pull out a Nanking. But then if we pull out a Nanking, we might have happiness issues. Um, and there's not even a guarantee there will be a spot there. Portugal might take it. So there's just a bunch of different reasons why doing the Settler in Nanking, even though it is technically an option, like, I think I think it would finish at size 3. Yeah, we'd get two shields per turn. The third one's going to be corrupted. Um, yeah, so at, exactly at size 3 we'd get it, and we should be happy until then. Yeah, but the lack of worker moves make it, makes it seem like a bad idea. Okay, um, this one's actually going... 
We're going to send this one here. I don't know if the hut's still up, but let's at least get something in this direction. That's fine. Okay, nice. They're pushing us out in the right places. Um, just for the record, guys, there's absolutely nothing wrong with planting on top of tobacco. I like this here because it would give us the BG. Um, it would actually give the one BG to Canton, weirdly. Okay, now we can unfuck our happiness. So just again, spam W, and if you did control R, this move will complete. Okay. I'm assuming I'm safe from barbs because Portugal has some, had two warriors here. Maybe I'll regret that, but... What's the chance of iron per mountain? Um, well, this mountain, zero. Zero. It, it can't have two... Re you can't have a strategic resource next to any other luxury bonus or strategic resource. So here, nothing. Somewhere in these mountain range, almost a certainty. It might not be iron, it could be like uranium or aluminum, but uh, I almost guarantee there's something there. Oh my god. We're going to move here. And if he stays on that tile, or if we a barb pops up, I would consider... Ah, 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 not going to fall for that shit. Yeah, okay. Good. Oh, maybe I should do... Yeah, I actually... Cause it's just so easy to get... Oh, my God. He fucking did it. The mad lad. What is he doing? Get out of my land, man. Just a conga line of Portuguese warriors heading towards God knows where. Okay. Um, We're getting a settler out of Nanking, though, so this gives us... Like, I, I just didn't want to plant in deeper into the jungle because it gives us nothing immediately, but I do want to stake land out against the Portuguese. Uh huh. Okay, that's that's fine. Again, this was a very very clear angle for a worker. Uh, a lot more clear than the one in like this one. I was debating, and the fact I had workers coming in from Canton was the deciding factor. This one's like not even debatable. Has to be a worker here. Okay, uh, kind of awkward not having a direct road between. Saint um, Beijing and Jin, Jin, Xinjian. Um, but I think this is just the way our worker moves are going. And sometimes that's how life goes. Yeah, like I said, third shield corrupted. So again, there's there's not a happiness problem. <laughs> Thank you for that, Nestor. Yeah, God, horses they they just have like anti iron. They're like magnets, right? They they don't spawn near the iron. That would be silly. Okay. Oh, it looks like France. This kind of connect. I guess this is a bay over here. Maybe. I don't think this. this um, it's a cool map. Okay, I like it. Yeah, okay, I'm attached to this game. Don't let me fuck this one up. Like, I should be paying attention to what I'm doing. Uh, and if I'm not paying attention, then call me out. Okay. So in situations like this, I don't mind, pop mind popping barbs, because I got, like, enough warriors around, and then the enemies have got warriors around. And it's far enough from my capital, it's not too big of a deal. <laughs> Maybe I spoke too soon. <laughs> Uh, nice, okay. Yeah, I think this definitely connects. Okay, yeah, uh, so the warrior, maybe this was a mistake. We would have got more tempo in our expansion if we kept it at home. Can you build the horse works? It doesn't work that way, sadly. Yeah, that's one of the reasons why iron works is so difficult, because the coal and the iron actually won't spawn on adjacent tiles. Uh, so there's, like, very few spots that will be in range of both if they're both 
around. And then when that happens, um, you just might not have the city there. Will you do a comprehensive guide on what happens to food, commerce, and shields when you plant on special land during different governments and city sizes? When is it worth planting on resources, etc.? Um, good question, Lucifer Hawk. I'm not really sure what you mean, though. Planting on resources? I, I did a city construction guide and I did a worker move guide. Those are a little old, so they might be worth doing a redo on. Uh, and they might even have, like, wrong details in them. Let's do this. Yeah. Um, but generally, Luckerhawk, aside from your capital, it is always a good thing, not just like a neutral thing, a good thing to plant on top of bonus commerce tiles. It is always bad to plant on bonus food, and it is generally not that big of a deal in the long run. In the short run, it can make a difference a lot of the time, but in, in the long run, planting on top of bonus shields is is okay, is good, even. Um, sorry, bonus food, always bad. Bonus shields, eh, it's kind of iffy, like, don't don't be scared of it. Like, I've seen some people, like, do the dumbest city plants, because, oh, I didn't want to plant on a BG. Um, you do get the BG back when you hit size, you get the shield back when you hit size 7. That's basically the gist, gist of it. And then planting on bonus commerce, aside from your capital, is just always good. Let's irrigate that. Okay, um, I guess we erode here, and then hopefully we can push further out. I hate this phase when you're just like done exploring and your guys are just dicking around. If it is bonus commerce and the city is not the capital, plant on it. Yes, exactly. So the thing is your capital gets a minimum of three commerce in the city center. Um, so if you plant on top of tobacco, it doesn't actually give you bonus any extra commerce. But if you notice here, we have one here and then two here. And that's because we planted on the river, right? Um, if you plant on the horse, you will also get plus one bonus commerce. Uh, fuck off. Oh my, it's actually kind of a pain in the ass because we want to send this here. Let's um not let's make sure the pathing isn't fucked. Okay. If we lose the combat, we have something to fall back on. Okay, we have my favorite hobby in the world right now. Do you guys know what time it is? <laughs> Not that time. Uh, time to pillage random as roads. Oh, he did win. Okay. Well, it's a nuisance, but uh, we prepared for that, so it's okay. Um, you should feel good. Like, I, I actually feel happy when I plant on bonus commerce. That's just how it is. Um, if you plant on other resources, I, I, I can't tell you. It depends on the situation. But yeah, like, whenever I get the chance to plant on gold, like, it's a good city otherwise, I'm really happy about it. Especially for core cities with low corruption. Because it's just, like, you wouldn't be using a gold tile, right? Like, a city like my capital, if I used a gold tile, that'd be fucking my... My growth, right? Or fuck my growth and my shields right now. Um, but this just gives it just gives you free permission to do that, basically. So I, I can actually maybe even get the gems here, which is not what I expected, but he just has not planted in that direction at all. Will you plant on the coastal adjacent to the two fish? I, I I was thinking about it. That's kind of bad luck. Um, if we'd done this plant like we wanted to, we would have got that city. We probably need some good coastals. I, I don't know. We'll see. Depends how many other cities we get. Like, if we get up to the sugar or something like that, then we probably don't need that many. Uh, no, I probably still would. Yeah. It depends on my mood, I guess. 
also just how the game's going like settler can be a big investment if we're going for an early military rush that doesn't make sense uh canton oh yeah all the other cities are pretty far apart so like this city would have plenty of tiles and canton would still have plenty of tiles too and it's also like canton doesn't have so we're going here just so the barb doesn't attack us and at this point we can just go home i think I don't really need to see much else. Again, other worker angle, second shield corrupted, two food per turn, that's a worker city. Your inner Civ 4 player, aka your inner child. <laughs> Sorry, that was mean, but completely unavoidable. Sure. Yeah, again, guys, say yes to these demands. Oh, fuck off. After everything. Oh, my God. Okay, good. Revenge. A whole work or two. Oh, my God. I hate when they just, like, come out of nowhere. Well, at least I'm doing Archer. I guess we should be worried about this guy, then. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> something we can all agree on hating on the Civ 5 players okay nice we just get the city then that's good oh we should have a song no fuck off okay my mistake didn't mean to cause you any Surprise or inconvenience. I just would very cordially like you to remind you, Queen Elizabeth, that those are my silks. Yeah, we have some cow city. We got tobacco city. Blazing up over there. Oasis city. We got the fish city. We got like little zones here. Huh. How far west is this? Maybe it goes pretty west. Like, this could be coal, too, right? Yeah, Portugal's really prioritizing this stuff. I can't blame them. This is better land. Uh, in fact, I think we have some of the worst land here of anyone. Yeah, cow cap. I know river, though. About equal. I guess this is worse than what we have. Okay, hit. Yeah, there we go. Good. Okay, I'm just going to road this, actually. You really got a border expand there. Okay, dude. Show off. The city just cannot grow. Like, I did the granary. I guess the granary is paying off, but it's like a little too much food. If I could have done like a two thirds of a granary instead, I think that would have been better. Okay, I don't like roading jungle, um, but here it is the right call. Covet gems. Um, <laughs> it's not programmed into the game if that's what you're asking. Maybe in spirit though. Okay, I'm gonna literally sit on this just so the English don't like do that thing where they just constantly move units back and forth over your the tile that you want to plant on i think we're going to do one here too eventually and then like something like like this maybe that's one of the reasons i actually like four part is like it gives you the in-between tiles so you actually don't need border expanse as much it's just like that sweet spot where you get free tiles for nothing oh my god
Oh, huh. <laughs> I thought he was planting the horse. Again, I'm traumatized by AIs, like, going way far out of their way to fuck you up with their plants. And look at this. Look, this is what I'm talking about. Stop it. Why are you doing that? God. Okay, as far as I know, they don't have anything adjacent, like, unless they have a chariot coming out of nowhere. This should be okay. Man, Joan would lose in a war with Portugal. Why does Portugal always kick so much ass? This is a question for the ages, I feel. Okay, we're finally at a place where we have double warriors in Canton and Beijing. That's nice. Hey, Engel. Yeah, well, we do have a stream today. It's been a while. And they have SOZ. Okay, well, I don't know why I'm just instinctively fucking with the French, but <laughs> please don't quote me on that. <laughs> okay. Here we go, guys. We got the silks. This is just like a big power spike for us. Uh, it'll let us fix our commerce. Wonderful. In eight turns, we get writing too. Oh my god. Okay. Oh, nice. We're you're getting that tile. It's kind of a bad city, Tatung. Once we rail, it'll be fine, though. Guess we're just gonna try to stack elites. Okay. Uh, this one's higher commerce, so we can get that. At a certain point, we want to road because this is our next. Okay, the, the city planting actually works out well here. We could plant like on the silks here, 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 and then something like that and, and that. Maybe something for the wheat soon. Okay. Purple, it's the color, is it? Hmm. Yeah, Iroquois are good. And Portugal is good. It's all adding up now. Thank you, Lucian. Okay, let's probably put these in the cities themselves. Okay, so um, if we want to open up the possibilities of a war with America, ugh, fucking hell. Like, at this point, we could consider doing a wall. It would be a lot of warriors to commit to it. You know what? We have the silks now, actually. Yeah. Not great, but this does open up two additional. Warriors that we didn't have before. We're going to get a bunch out of Macau. Yeah, I think we can do a wall off. If Portugal gets these, I don't care. I would like this, I guess. Yeah, ideally, like if I could plant this and then I could do that later on when I clear it and no one else will contest me for that. City between Tsingtao and Chengdu off on the coast. Um, I was considering that, yeah. If we put one here, we would actually don't need that. We'd be wasting, like, um, sorry, two tiles. Uh, I'm On a map of this size, I think I'm okay with that. I'd probably rather the fish city. Like, that would be, like, our fourth closest city or something, so it would fuck our corruption a bit. Okay, yeah, Portugal didn't contest us at all, I guess. Fuck it, let's just fortify these guys. They're not we're not paying maintenance on them or anything. Just a little annoying. 
Ah, the sound is good? Nice, I'm happy to hear that. I had issues in the past with clipping. Maybe clipping is just not an issue anymore for some reason. Uh, fucking hell. He's blocking my attempt to block him. What a dirty trick. Okay, everyone and their dog must have rating by now. How many settlers are in there? Just one. Oh, God. This is fine. This is good, actually. You know what? We, we got what we want with Port Portugal. We got the silks. This is all of this that's happening is fine. Nothing is actually a problem for us. There's no like cities that we need to have that we're not getting. So I guess we're going to do Gran into Barracks, and then we're going to do a Swordsman push with all of this gold we have. I think that might have been a mistake. <laughs> okay. Oh, that one, I, f I can't believe I fucked that up. My god. Okay, we can wall off. No, we actually can't wall off America. Or we failed to, at least. Yeah, so I think because we're going for a push, um, we're not going to do... I guess this goes here then, if they're just going to let us plant that. I think it makes more sense to go for England, actually. This is weird. Now, this is interesting because this is actually a case where getting the border expand in these two cities will not actually help us against culture flips from Lagos. So, um, considering the barracks. Yeah, I think we just go straight into barracks. Good. And now we have writing. Sure. Don't fuck with them, guys. Okay, so... Does not have writing. Does not have writing. Does not have writing. Doesn't have... What the... F Can we do philosophy here? They got ages ages ago. That was like a lifetime ago they got Statue of Zeus. How do they not have writing, but they've had mathematics for that long? Okay, well, I... <laughs> I need the gold, so. They all have so much gold. Holy shit. They all have over 100 gold. This is wild. Okay. So let's get the expensive text first. The downside is they don't have anything that the other ones don't have. Uh, we could get like this, maybe. Yeah, that's just such a negligible difference in gold. I think we'll get more from the other sieves because mysticisms is cheaper tech. Okay, I guess we're just not going to do grand here in, in Beijing. Um... Oh, I guess he's pretty close to writing himself, then. I was, like, considering, do I want to go for the Swordsman upgrade play, or do I want to go for Philosophy? Because if we, if we give them writing, like, I would have ideally like to write a, wait a couple turns before giving them writing. Um, and if we give them writing now, they might just go straight for Philosophy in theory, I guess. Um, so I was debating, which one do I want to do, Swordsman upgrade or Philosophy? Uh, because we need their gold to do, to do like a very good swordsman upgrade play, but then uh, and we need iron working too, of course. Uh, but then I realized, wait, we could just get both. <laughs> we could 
full tech towards philosophy. Uh, and we're just getting so much gold from this that we, we can maybe still get philosophy. And also do the upgrade play. Okay, yeah, what a crazy trade turn. I don't get turns like that very often. I'm glad I caught that, that I was about to get writing, because if I waited like a couple turns, I might have missed that. It looked like Portugal was pretty close to writing. Um, and then there's one person left with like 400 gold. Do they not have uh, polytheism? She doesn't, so that's 62 free gold. She does, so that means it's cheaper. And then he does not, okay. So if I'm paying like 300 gold, I'm actually getting my gold back or something. I think this is worth it. Yeah, I'm not doing glib here. So if I can get like a, a tech that's necessary for ear advancement, um, that's a good thing to get. Nice, this works out well because like France is the person I got all her, all her gold from, and she's the one person who doesn't have polytheism. But if she didn't have po if she didn't have polytheism, then um, America would have charged me a lot more for the tech, and it wouldn't have been worth it. So I get maybe half of my gold back from that, and I just had a lot. Like I don't need the full crazy amount. Uh, I would recommend it against it's it can be I don't know it's your game uh your choice to make and if you find it fun then I can't disagree with that I I do like faster games generally but it's just so unbalanced that I don't consider it to be worth it okay so notice how I canceled this worker job here it's because I don't want my myself to accidentally hook the iron because I can't build warriors. I need veteran warriors for the upgrade play, and I can't build them anymore. Where does the settler go? It's not going to plant, actually. Yeah, this is not going to plant. Uh, you know what? I'll, I'll just take it. This is pretty good, actually. I, I just need to secure these. Maybe it would be better to go for Portugal. It'd be like a cleaner war. Like this would be on some, like they're going to get a city down here. It would be on more fronts to go for England. And if I could clean up Portugal faster and then make a quick piece. You know, with Portugal, I'd probably want a military alliance. Actually, yeah, I think it works better the other way around. That I do like a quick, quick little fight with England to like mop up like the border gore from the expansion phase here. Yeah, maybe take this city in Dover and that'd be it. And then I would move on to Portugal. And when I do Portugal, I would try to clear them out with like France as an ally. To a full 20 turn war. Um, England has his iron for now. So I don't know what you guys are talking about. Like, Demigo or Dady's not that hard. Things are going swimmingly. We have a few different options here. Uh, we're caught up on tech. Get the fuck out. <laughs> um, but aside from this guy being annoying, it's all going well. Where is he even trying to plant? Oh, fuck that. Oh my god. I, I could have actually gone for... I didn't consider that they could... I should have just sat... I should have just sat on the hill. Ah, 
France. Okay, that's fine if it's France. It actually gives me a bit of a buffer. Portugal, Lux. Uh, do they have Lux? Uh, they have Ivory somewhere because they have Statue of Zeus. Get out. <laughs> okay, well, we're going to build roads towards the enemy. Okay, um, because it takes three turns to irrigate in, as an industry sieve, we, if we're going to do chain irrigation here, we want all three workers on it. Or just one. Yeah, we're going to say England's probably going to get whatever. That's fine, I guess. Yeah, totally going to start a war with England here, I say, as they have a big pileup of warriors, vet warriors. Okay, not going to be an issue at all, I'm sure. Games I play with Harger's Reef Release are stuff like Elder Scroll. Ah, yeah, I see. I mean, if you're good with the microwing uh, battles, can definitely be fun. I, I like to play Dragon Age on the hardest difficulty. Uh, but some stuff like Bethesda games can be a little unforgiving for me. Okay, here we go. The vet warriors start coming out. Okay, we're not going to keep that many warriors in Nanking in case the city flips. It is a possibility right now. It would not be the end of the world. It would make me pretty pissed at Portugal, uh, but we could just take the city back because we do have the capacity to fight here. We're not eggs, so yeah, this is not multiplayer. We wouldn't get a food from that until after the government switch. That's fine. Oh, actually not on the hill. It's really nice. Five shield per turn, perfect in Beijing. I don't know, how do you guys feel? What is your favorite game to play like on the hardest difficulty level? For me, it's not, not the hardest difficulty, but on very hard, I like to play Civ 3, of course. But some games I, I like more moderate difficulties. Some games I just can't play on the hardest difficulty level. Oh, that's good. Yes, France got Great Wall. Um, so we don't need to worry about that anymore. Uh, and also they'll hold out longer against Portugal if they fight. Now, actually, Henry did a, a an embassy with me, so I'll know if they go to war or if he goes to war with anyone. City placement looks a little loose here. Is there a reason for that? That's not loose. This is four. Four apart. Four apart is standard for single player. Um, the land's also not great. Generally, with worse land, you want further apart cities. It's also a bigger map. Bigger maps, uh, looser city placement is better. But yeah, I, I like to say that for my single player, for my experiences, especially at high levels, Four is standard. It just lets you stake more land out. It's less snowball-y. Like, it's harder to get the ball rolling in terms of production. But um, you just get more land. And that means you need to fight less. Less to conquer if you plant more cities at the start. Okay, wasting some worker moves here. But I need the road to England. Um, hey Majed, and yes, salam to all our subscribers here. And non-subscribers, if it just pops up in your feed or whatever.
pay to you guys too. Okay, um, can we save gold? We actually can. Now let's see if we get, I guess we could do like construction for free. Let's get currency though. We could do monarchy technically too. The other continent must surely have philosophy by now, but I'll probably be able to trade it within my continent and like make back the initial investment from polytheism. Although I guess they were unrelated. Make back the initial investment of like having tech for tech. Whether that will be in flat gold or whether I'll be able to like get other techs in, in exchange for philosophy, we'll see, but both are pretty good. Because there's, as far as I know, I mean, we don't know where the Great Library is going to be. This is a large map, so there's, what, 12 sieves on a large map? We can check the spaceship screen. Um, if you guys want to know, oops, <laughs> don't, don't crash the game. Um, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, plus myself. So 12 sieves um, and four, uh, 11 sieves other than me and four of them are on my continent yeah so i guess some of them are probably on random ass islands but it is more likely than not that the glib will be great library will be finished somewhere that is not here because i'm not going to do it not with the start seems like i like tile city tile city huh were you the person someone sent me like an absolutely demented game as germany i believe um yeah don't <laughs> if you're that guy don't play like that. Play like this. Okay. <laughs> like if you're playing ICS, so Infinite City Sprawl, where you plant very, very tight, you need to be know what you're doing and preferably play like 80% water maps, smaller maps. That's where it tends to be more strong. Okay, um, we need growth here. Like, we have the lux we need. Uh, these cities are just low pop. It's making we, me wish I did more granaries early. Uh, Canton's going to be dope as hell, though. I guess it's just going to do warrior per two. Oh, no, I think Canton can do warrior per one at size six. So that's going to be good. I know we're going to see how much gold we have. It's what, like 60 gold for an upgrade? Uh, fuck, what is it? The cost. Three gold to upgrade per shield. It's a 20 shield difference. 60 gold, yeah. Probably. The, when we retired the last game we did, there was like a bunch of island civs three or more so probably gonna be two here i'd say just eyeballing it oh um we can get here no we can't there's a river blocking me one yeah that's fine actually yeah okay yeah if we don't have to deal with a hill city that's better i guess we're roading that oh there's whales okay It's a lot of fun, actually. Yeah, just mining mining planes, tiles, generally, it's, it's fine if you have food. Uh, but I'm making sure that... Huh, oh, okay. I'm making sure that at size 6, we have warrior per turn. Um, we'd only need 10 warriors, then. Maybe I should switch to... Archer in cap, if that's the case. I um, think we're going to road that and then just to kill time. Here we go. Yeah, this is going here. From Jinjan. Okay, how are you doing, Canton? Canton is actually doing one warrior per turn right now. That's impressive. Uh, although we can actually still let it grow fast. Good, yeah. So this actually should be Archer here then. Philosophy next turn.
fucking burps. I was thinking of doing some suicide curaz, but <laughs> not on the table anymore, I guess. Uh, and he's in Medi. Fuck, okay, so they do have philosophy. Okay, they, they have iron too, so uh, they're not a scientific sieve, but I better start attacking soon before... I guess philosophy was a mistake. I didn't think they'd clear through all three of these techs before I could do this one tech. Uh, thank you, Majed. Thank you very much. Uh, but yeah, I need to act quickly here. Which is why upgrade plays are so good, because they let you convert quickly from like a... A scaling build right into combat. Okay, so obvi obviously she has philosophy, but France. <sighs> that's 25 gold. Uh, I'm probably not going to buy construction off her. Portugal, yeah. Fuck, fuck off. Okay. Yeah. So I could pay 500 gold or whatever and fuck my upgrade play. I'm just going to take the 25. No. Okay, that's all I get, I guess. Well, I've got one more tech towards the next year. That's what philosophy does for me, I guess. Oh, I, I get like, okay, that's like a war, half a warrior, half a uh, half an upgrade per turn. I think horsemen for the versatility. Yeah, this will let us get the. No scientific civs on our continent, actually. That's really good. So we should have some time to ourselves. Oh, I, sorry. I guess the warriors should all go like in the direction of the front lines. This is my furthest barracks. Uh, I might need to... No, this just barely works out. <laughs> I think China's the one where we're struggling with relations right now. Oh, and wait, no, there was the, they made that deal to get the, the prisoners out. So with China, we're I think we're fine. Um, do we, like, sell our fighter jets to you? Is that how the relationships are going right now between so Kingdom of Saudi Arabia and, uh, and Canada? Might be another country I'm thinking of. Okay, nice. Oh, fuck off. Okay, well, the the absolute disrespect thing of, like, building a road into someone's land so that you can, like, con it's something in multiplayer, like, it, when someone does that to you, it's, like, either, like, they're, like, way better and they're fucking flexing on you, or they're just absolutely disrespecting you. So the idea is that, like, you are so confident that you're going to take their city that you're building the road before you take the city because you know it's going to be your land by the time the road is done or shortly afterwards. Um. So, yeah. Quite disrespectful. As you can imagine. Only sell them attack helicopters. Yeah, one of my students actually, uh, hmm. Took off, uh, took off work to go to the Hajj recently. I don't. Is it like a seasonal thing, the the Hajj, or is it um? Yeah, can it be done all year round? Okay, I I think I'm good for warriors now. This. Should... I'll run out of gold far before I'm done upgrading all these guys. So they can just mosey on over to... I, I might have to upgrade some non... Oh, this guy. Yeah, that's okay. Ah, 
that's a good tile. I won't really want that tile. Um, is it a crime in multiplayer? There's a bunch of different multiplayer bo uh, mods. It depends on the one. To send a single Kura into someone else's borders. I'm assuming you're talking about like free for all or Seton. So in team games, obviously you want to fuck with the enemy any way you can, and obviously getting vision on them would be an excellent way to do that. Uh, just so you have more information. Um, now, in a free-for-all game, often called Seton, um, that would be a completely fair game. They might interpret that aggressively. No, if you're just like watching for vision, I don't think that would be interpreted aggressively. But there's like one player in the multiplayer community, Kyle, who has been getting a lot of shit recently for just like <laughs> spamming frigates at you every single game. Um, like it's okay if you, if you, basically the rule should be like if if you just get what you want like I a term if someone like tries to take my resource city like a one and done attack I interpret that less aggressively than if they just um constantly are bombarding me with frigates because that's like a sustained attack what that says to me is like I want to take you out of the game um rather than I'm trying to get something specific out of you I'm trying to make you weak rather than trying to make myself strong. Uh, so yeah, but Seton is something, like, free-for-alls is just something in multiplayer we recently brought back, so we're still kind of, that kind of informal, non-verbal communication is still something that's being established. It's pretty interesting, actually. Road swagged. Well, the most swagged ro road is the one I cut, cut over here, but... Man, was this, if this was not a pop... I really fucked them up with that road. <laughs> Either way, I guess, but. Okay, again, splitting the workers um, for, for increased efficiency. Okay, I'm going to do horsemen here, because by the time a swordsman is done, the war would be pretty much over. I'm going to try to make this a quick war. So we're going to do... Um, oh, of course, yeah, I'll, I'll do them one at a time. There's no lag in single player, so. In multiplayer, sometimes you'll be like, assume you can do, like, you want to surprise someone with your end of turn upgrade. So you'll be, like, desperately trying to, oh, shit, I don't have enough money. And you're like, because it's just so much micro and there's a turn timer that you're going to be, like, desperately calling up your teammates, asking them for cash. Okay, I think they are blocking the best entrance to Dover. Um, so I actually might. Can we get this? Maybe next turn. Let's just go through the mountains. We're gonna need to build that eventually. And it doesn't look like we're desperate for worker moves anywhere else, so it should be okay. Hajj is the season is next week. Oh, interesting. Yeah. Ah, okay. I didn't realize there were... I, I thought it was just... I, I knew the term the Hajj. I didn't realize there were two, two related events. So that's good to know. Maybe next time they tell me that. Okay, so yeah, Great Library is not here. Good. Let's not rely on those gimmicks, guys. We're going to do this clean, calculated, deity gameplay here. Um, huh. I'm wondering if I should walk into Dover, actually. You know what? Yeah. Oh, not anymore, I guess. It'd be nice to have one archer for defensive bombard. But I want the, the better shield count. More important. Uh, I only like monarchy and Civ. Not in real life. <laughs> I think there was an article in The Economist or some other kind of uh, business-focused magazine that was doing just doing this like brutal takedown of monarchy uh which is not something that like people seriously think they need to do anymore like that's a 
hot topic 100 years ago, or sorry, even 100 years ago, but maybe 300 years ago, 200 years ago. But nowadays, people generally are like, they think it's a novelty. And and you see like arguments about like pro-monarchy arguments like creeping up sometimes. Um, so I guess it's it's definitely worth debating. Oh, I got this road here. Yeah, I'll wait one more turn. Okay. I think I don't need the... Okay, so yeah, this is... We're in position. Americans have fucked off. Got horsemen trickling in still. Yeah, okay, I think we should be good to take Dover. Great. Uh, could do a brutal takedown of capitalism and imperialism. Uh, imperialism, capitalism is still fiercely debated, but imperialism is, I think, most people have, uh, not as much as maybe a little bit more. There's more apologists for imperialism than monarchy nowadays, I'd say, or fans even. Uh, good. I always like to see. Okay, that's enough on the warriors. Okay, so England, you can fuck off. Let's make it, let's try to make it quick. Okay, so I think, I don't think he would, oh, I think I can fire the catapult shot, which is good because there's one elite, so it actually does make a difference here. Okay, I, if I get shit like that, then, okay, that should be, no, that's actually not fine. But you know what? I get a bigger bonus on the hill than I do in the city, so. Oh, easy. Yeah, this is not well defended. Reg spears are my lifeblood when it comes to attacking. That's just not a fun, that's not fun to, I feel people suggest challenges without thinking like, how fun would that be to watch or to persuade to play? Um, and I do not at all, <laughs> like, like, what would that be? You said non-religious civ, so that would be what, like 65 turns of anarchy? If you want to stream where I do nothing for... Oh, I can chain slave soon. Pretty or immediately as soon as I, I think I'm gonna take here. Um, we can just clear this out. I think right. Swords against. Oh my god! Stop it! What the fuck? Second time. Okay, I'm going to weaken the spear a bit. Thank you. I, I'm not sure. Thank you, Majed. Thank you very much. Um, so what's it like if you, like, you are from, from Saudi Arabia? Like, is there, or like if you live in Mecca or Medina, is there still a pressure to do the Hajj or a desire to do the Hajj? Or is that more for people from far, from far away? Is it like a tourist trap if you're a local, <laughs> maybe? Military stream steamroll. I mean, I'm working on it right now. We'll see how far this gets me. Is this gonna starve? Actually, I might fuck myself with this. Oh no, because of the banana. <laughs> Rarely been so thankful for a banana, but yeah, the banana actually helps me a lot here. Okay, I uh, can maybe do like a bunch of horses to go take the southern city, and that would let me push into Newcastle. You know what? If I could just like strategically disconnect his iron. Her iron. Um, I think I'd be well set for this game. Sorry, this 
poll is over. I don't know why it's still asking. <laughs> it says you want. Um, sorry, screen would say something. United Kingdom is still a monarchy. Yeah, there's definitely different levels of, of monarchy and different benefits to the different levels too. And in, like, unless you want to seize their assets, it doesn't might not make much sense to get rid of the monarchy in the UK. Although some people definitely want to seize their assets. <laughs> Uh, now in Canada, that's a better question because we, yeah, I, I wonder. Like the Queen's dead now. Is like, is Queen Elizabeth gonna be on our money forever, or are we gonna start putting the the new guys on the money? And what happens if it's like someone like legitimately unpopular? This was something they were running into in Thailand too, because it was like a huge whiplash from like one of the most venerated monarchs of the 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 twentieth century to. So not a terrible dude, but like someone who has like a reputation for being a bit of a playboy and causing scandal. Uh, and yeah, suddenly they switch and it's like, do we want to have less majesty laws and have a monarchy anymore? Anyway, it's definitely interesting as an outsider. Oh, I cannot, I can't actually cannot do chain slaving here because I don't have a building that costs 40 shields. Ah, downsides to being militaristic. Okay. Um. Newcastle is not even... Yeah, sorry, Newcastle is not even on a hill. It's not even size seven, no walls. I, I think just like a stack of six swordsmen. So that's the thing, like they're intimidating. They got a lot of units. They don't have a lot of units specifically in their cities a lot of the time on high difficulty levels. Like there's like what? Was there literally one unit? I kind of skipped over this, but I think there was literally one unit in Do Dover. Um, so yeah, it's not too too hard to take cities. You just have to have enough units to deal with the spam from them. Chain slaving. So the idea is if we had something that cost 40 shields, we would slave that, switch to temple, and slave that. So the game won't let you slave for more than half your population. Um, so to slave two citizens here, typically we would need um, four citizens in, in Anyang. Um, but if we chain slaved, we could just, you just get around that restriction, basically. Which is quite helpful because it lets us get the whale and that lets us grow the city and have it be a useful city and not utter garbage like it is right now. Oh. Uh, that's something we can fix. Okay, I guess we could start. Should we do lit? Let's do lit. I think there's a good chance we can get lit before anyone else has it. Oh, that guy didn't even go on the hill. Anyway. Start walking this over. Uh, hash is an obligation. Okay, well, probably much more convenient if you're, uh, if you live in the neighborhood. Let's just, I don't want to bait them into moving onto the iron. Um, so let's not, yeah. Let's, let's just, but no, if, if they go, you know, let's just use the horseman as bait just to avoid a bad situation where they like put multiple units like on the iron to attack my stack and then I have to kill them on the mountain or take more free hits from them. Monarchs do better than Republic. Yeah, um, certainly have been some countries with difficulties in the region. 
it was interesting to see like the, the dynamics and what happened to the different countries after the Arab Spring. Um, yeah, some of them ended up with stable gov- more stable governments, and then some of them ended up worse than uh, Syria, particularly. Uh, pretty sad case. We could probably push into this, whatever this is here. They're just so soft. Like, I, I was only expecting to get two cities here, but if they're just going to, like, hand me these cities on a silver platter, I'm not going to complain. Did they just attack into me and fail? I, okay. Oh, my, fuck off. <laughs> Whatever. Okay, so we're going to disconnect their iron. Uh, thank you very much, Lucian. Upon, what are these messages that, okay, so it's like a balloons and the number one. Is there meaning to that? Oh, maybe it was your first donation for this stream. Uh, Majed's certainly donated in the past, I think. Um, uh, you, I don't quite remember, but yeah, I'm trying to figure out what, trying to decode what their meaning is. Celebrate the first super chat from, that is not the first, maybe, uh, Anyway, maybe my memory is not as good as it should be. Maybe it's just being away from streaming too long. Yeah, I really like these streams where it's just like, just play a game. I feel less pressure to do a specific strategy because, ah, like, you know, I, I rush my games and then I don't play as well as I should and I get frustrated with them. Uh, that's just a, a habit I have. Um, So yeah, like just keeping it free flowing and like not having to go down a particular path makes it easier for me to kind of get immersed in the game, I guess. So I think that's a good way for me to do streams. Okay, kind of running out of good worker moves to do. I guess we have to leave these back because I don't want to put them, put my stack on the, the Oasis. Okay. Uh, see you later, Vaximilian. Yeah, we're going to have fun. And if we have enough fun, we could maybe make this a two-parter. That's what I like about the big maps. Like, on a small map, like, if you conquer one of your neighbors, like, if it's, like, a four-player map, you've pretty much won the game if you know what you're doing. Obviously, you need to have practice with that, but I, I do have practice with that. And it becomes less of an interesting challenge. It's more, like, methodical, like, just slowly grinding things out and going through the motions. Here, like, there's more... Like, the choices I was making, like, when I made the choice, like, do I trade for polytheism or not? That was an interesting choice to have to make. Uh, and you get more choices like that. In uh, bigger map games. Okay, this is enough workers. Uh, at this point, I actually do benefit from... The, yeah, I need the temple here. Can I get this in two? Good, okay. Because I need these tiles back. Um, it actually makes Chen... I mean, definitely... If I'm going to war with Portugal, that's the case. Okay, let's go for a hit. Uh, okay, we'll wait. That should be fine. You know what? He might slave. Or she might slave. Fuck me. God. And the swordsman's damaged, so we can't even count on that next turn. Okay, good things we have these catapults in reserve. Nice, and then we take the horses, or the, the horse, I guess, out. Huh. Fuck off. Man. <laughs> okay, we're gonna go here just so we've got a- Oh, Jesus, we only have two. Okay, well, we get Newcastle at least, and then we can rotate from there. Done. Just swimming around. Ivory, okay, Ivory, that's- uh, I guess we're going to keep going with England here. Fine. Uh, do we just plow through? Hmm. We'll see what's up. I guess so, lemon cake, yeah. But I, I don't think it's... Maybe they have new accounts or something, but... 
they've been on my stream. I, I know those two people. Uh, so it just struck me as odd. I could go for Oxford. Yeah, this would distract him at least. I don't know. Maybe I can make something from that distraction. And... Okay. Irrigation is making its way downtown. Vanessa Carlton is starting to, to play for the irrigation. Very romantic. Oh, so that's great. So I wasn't even counting on this guy attacking. Eh. Oh, okay, this is fine. Do we still go for this? Yeah, it paid off. So the thing I hated about what happened... When I attacked with the horseman and it like promoted and it didn't take any damage, absolute bullshit because it doesn't even let us know how many units are in the city if we do that. Uh, he's gonna slave again if I don't do this, so yeah, okay, there we go. We got Brighton, that was not a guarantee, so that's good to get. And we pick up a worker, too. Two, two workers, one of them did some weird shit though. I guess we're gonna move up these warriors. Uh, like these are helpful to thicken out our stack, I think. Okay, we don't wanna lose these roads. I guess this one is okay to lose. Oh my, fuck off. Oh, Jesus. At least he didn't promote. Okay, I guess Oxford is the city we're going for. Going to give it a proper try next turn. Four units, pretty good. And then afterwards we can bring some catapults up. Uh, I suppose technically we should keep them outside the city in case it flips. Um... Visibility by two was found. Did I miss did I miss something? <laughs> Is democracy antagonistic to capitalism? That's an interesting question. Because I've seen people say the opposite that like, oh, because of the influence that corporations have on capital in uh dem democratic societies that they kind of benefit from it. Okay, so they cleared out my... Okay, I got one elite swordsman here. This is like a guaranteed kill. Okay. I think we do this one. Oh my god. And we don't even do any damage. Or we can't see how much damage we did. Fuck it. Okay, don't care anymore. <laughs> okay. So you guys can fuck off. Uh, I'm going to make peace now. Having We still have the option to plant the ivory if we really want it. Um, but yeah. Four workers too. That's good. So, And we get some techs. Okay. Now, is Joan in the next era? Is there anything Joan's missing? Joan's missing a few things. Okay. So Joan is missing currency. Joan's missing code of law. And then any of the government techs, I guess. Monarchy, code of law, and map making. Wait, what? No, monarchy, code of law, and currency. Okay, so if we can get two of those. Or even just monarchy. Okay, I guess we just get currency. Or something like that, maybe? Currency is the expensive one. But at this point, like... It'd be nice to have something to like give to Joan to make her fight Portugal for us. But at the same time, we need to be clearing out these texts to get into the next era, because we fell behind a bit here. Um, so, okay, this is an important moment, guys. So if you have any advice for me, um, definitely put it in chat. Yeah, the thing is, currency is the more expensive text, so I think I can get more off of Joan in exchange for currency. You know what? I probably have to... Whatever I'm doing, I need to make it immediately. So I'm not going to be doing the alliance versus Portugal. And in fact, I don't even have a, enough gold for an embassy right now, I don't think. So I think my best bet is 
paying her off, gold per turn even if necessary. She doesn't hate me. She doesn't hate me. I guess my p kingdom is more than a puddle of mud to her. Okay, and we get, wait, two, two texts. Oh, these are the two we wanted anyway. Huh. We could do that and save a bunch of gold. Of per turn gold. Okay. It's better, but do we get... So these texts, like, there's no influence from other civs right now. Like, all the other civs have all the other texts. So, in theory, she should be willing to do map making for currency, but she should not be willing to do... You know what? Yeah, I'm going to pay her off. Yeah, I'm going to get the more expensive one. Oh, but this is two texts she doesn't have. Huh. Okay. That's that's a good deal. It's guaranteed too. And for France, we're, we'll get one thing from her. Ah, uh, we could get the more expensive tech from France, or we could pay her off and get. Um, both texts. Hmm. I think that's good. Yeah, like, that just straight up clears us. Like, if we hadn't done that, we would have got two texts. No, if we just got, like, map making code of law, oh, that would have given us, yeah, two texts probably, and then we would have had something to... We would have had to buy a third one off her. This gets us all, including the expensive construction. So this is good. I like this. Okay. So we had to spend all our gold. The issue now is I'm concerned that we won't have anything to pay for her alliance against Portugal. But we can figure that out when we need to. Um, there's not a hurry on that. Okay. The inability to chain slave here is actually really fucking me. <laughs> Sorry, did what I say about, um, I hope what I said about the relationship between capitalism and uh, the media is not uh, causing too much disturbance. I'll say that the opposite is kind of tr true too. Maybe not necessarily capitalistic stuff, although there's a lot of overlap here, but like kind of populist economic policies, like ones that are just not good. Um, it's easier to pass crap policies that are not good if it's being pushed by the media and like by popular demand for that kind of narrative so i don't know in terms of like conservative there's like conservative and liberal economic policies that fall under those criteria where it's like there's like liberal economic policies that liberal economists hate and like socialist economists hate and there's like conservative economic policies that conservative economic policy uh economic politicians hate so for example conservative economic economists uh, like the cato institute and all that they tend to be pretty pro-immigration uh, and then for liberals even like the super liberal uh, economists tend to be pro-rent control which is not really popular in so uh far maybe not social i guess if you're socialist you probably just want to seize all the uh all the housing and you should abolish landlordism but certainly like far left uh circles so yeah um that's like neither left nor right but it uh just the influence of being able to push for for stuff it makes it harder to like for politicians to 
do their like their ivory tower low we know what's best for you now we're going to tell you what's best for you which can be good and can be bad in some cases there's some things that are unpopular that just need to be done uh and there's some things that are unpopular that very much should not be done that certain special interests want to be done um i mean it won't solve it in the the typical ways uh any like it so if you're talking specifically about carbon that potentially that has some truth to it but um one thing i like to recall back to is like the the montreal accord and i know how much civilization fans like to talk about cfcs so chlorofluorocarbonates so this was a case where um market-based approaches i mean it was solved under capitalism i'll say that uh, but they didn't use the market to do it. Basically, they just banned these CFCs, which were like in like old school like hairsprays and stuff like that. And that was why oh, it was such a big deal ago deal twenty years ago. There's a hole in the ozone layer, but you don't hear about that much anymore because it actually we kind of solved that problem. Uh, and it was under capitalism, but in that case, it was better to use non-market based approaches. So what they did was. Um, they just banned it outright, I believe. Uh, but good luck doing that with carbon emission. <laughs> so if they're using market approach or if they're using non-market approaches, they they can't just do a straight ban on it. Okay, so we're gonna do slave the temple in Oxford. I mean, first of all, if the city flips, it makes the city garbage for him, but it gives us all of these tiles back. And the chance to flip, it's partly based on foreign citizens. This actually reduces foreign citizens, if I'm not mistaken. Um, but more than that, it, um, sorry, reduces emissions, reduces foreign citizens, it gives us our tiles back out of the BFC. So tiles and BFC and foreign citizens are the two biggest factors for city uh, for flipping. Um, and if you neither of those things are true, if you have no foreign tiles and no foreign citizens, the city cannot flip at all. So something like this city here cannot flip, even though this one's tier three border expand and this one's just tier one. Okay, so let's make these guys up. To, oh, we actually, at the present moment, we cannot get our... <laughs> I guess we do need to mine the, or we do need to road the, the mountain. It seemed wasteful at the time, but like to get our catapults into Portugal, just like their empire in general, oh, that's what we need to do. Okay, I'm gonna move this guy here just so that um, when they kick us out, they won't kick us. Um, we won't get a, a reputation hit from Portugal. Well, yeah, it's the thing in Asimmers that if it is profitable to provide alternatives to carbon emissions, then they will do that. And the government can help make it profitable, right? So if you, like, provide subsidies to people who reduce emissions, then suddenly those factors that were working against you and in favor of cheap, environmentally harmful oil or carbon emissions um, actually works in favor of you that... If you can make it so that the more economically efficient thing to do is to abate, so to avoid pollution, then that's what they're going to do. Hopefully, at least, that's what the theory is. Okay, um, so we're in the next year. Oh, we're just not teching at all. Oh, because we're broke? Okay, I guess we just don't get lit because we spent all our gold getting into the next era. <laughs> a good digression. Um, I do hope we get animal names too. So we still got some units trickling back. Let's get all these swords back. Um, and the horse... Is this, if I take the horse out, is it going to go all, oh no, it's fine, okay.
Great. Okay, um, so this, it doesn't seem super stable, but we actually have no foreign tiles here because the cities are so far apart. So it actually does make quite a bit of sense to end the war here. I think I'm considering, oh my god, I slaved a, this was supposed to be a under rush for the, the temple. You know what, I'm just going to join two workers, fuck it. <laughs> Yeah, that works. Yeah, that works. Yeah. I uh, agreed. Yeah. I don't know. There are some political issues where I have stronger views and like more extreme off to the side views. Uh, and those are ones that, sorry, not a lot of issues like that, but those are one of the ones I would not be as comfortable talking about because like I find the carbon tax is kind of like a middle of the road thing. Um, it's something I'm more comfortable talking about. Um, but obviously these are subjective in different cultures and different countries. Some things might be common sense in one country and then completely outside of the Overton window in another country. So, uh, sometimes my grasp on what is like a, a mainstream view or like a, a measured view. Uh, might not be completely accurate, right? Okay, um, so we're actually, in terms of worker moves, we have had, what turn is it? It's only 530 BC. I guess this is just being industrious. Hmm. I guess America's got a lot of land here. Interesting. More than Portugal, even. Oh my god, Portugal. These tier 3 border expands are just coming up everywhere. <laughs> Shouldn't you be trying to get lit if you're not going to tech up at all and get the hanging gardens? Um, I think you missed a few things in your in the thought process here, Matt. Uh, for one, Glib has already been built. Um, I wasn't especially keen on doing it this game. Um, and it just didn't work out. Like, I, I could have done it in Canton, I guess, a size 6 city. It would have been risky, right? I would have, if I failed, the game would be, become very, very difficult. So... Uh, I didn't go for that. Instead, I went for whatever the heck this is. And it's going okay. <laughs> oh god, are you doing soccer talk now? <laughs> Speaking of avoiding controversial issues. Oh, golf. Yeah, it shows how much I know about soccer, I guess. Is golf popular in the Middle East? I, I would think it'd be quite difficult to find a land for the courses. Um, but you know what? There's actually like ski hills they have in like malls and like some warm countries. So I guess it makes sense if people did play. But sometimes people watch, but they don't play too. Although, sadly, Canada has not been blessed with people doing that for, uh, sorry, for uh, winter sports in general. <laughs> yeah, Karl Marx is fun because he, some of his views are actually, I don't know. Um, like, he was definitely, he is a respected theorist within eco economics. And a lot of his views actually uh, kind of matched with economic orthodoxy at the time. Although, obviously, he went in other com def definition directions completely. Um, like, I believe he was, like, pretty pro-immigration, which, like, people like Bernie Sanders today, like, mainstream figures on the left in America, would not be as pro-immigration as him. Um, but, of course, he thought that uh, socialism would rise and capitalism would be overthrown, which is not <laughs> uh wouldn't call that a, a mainstream position so yeah um it's interesting how like the shifts in what is left and what is right kind of evolve over time ah i guess the horseman goes here because i can move it out quickly
I mean, the good news is if you like economics, uh, Marx is viewed as like um, an important figure within economics. Like kind of maybe like on par with Sigmund Freud, where it's like some of his stuff was really, really ahead of its time. And yeah. Uh, you'd be tempted to think that, like, oh, he was like, oh, way outside the economic orthodoxy, but uh, no, like they, you do get taught Marx occasionally. If you like, I went to, I don't know. The U.S. Open is being played in Los Angeles. Is that tennis? Okay, th I get the point, guys. Yeah, let's switch the topic. I'm sorry, any simmers. Uh, I know it's hard for me to have the last word and hard for other people to have the last word or not have the last word too hard for me not to have the last word and i'm the guy with the microphone so ultimately is my responsibility more than others to make sure the discussion goes the places that we want it to go and there's better things we can talk about than this especially since like i i act actually like it was just such an issue in the the multiplayer discord that like just politics talk all the time in the off topic section that i just had to completely basically ban it current even current events not just politics but current events too uh so yeah i shouldn't be pushing that into my streams but it can be nice sometimes when you can find common ground No, like don't don't worry yourself. Like if I say things, you can respond to them. As like I said, as the guy with the microphone, it's my responsibility to keep them the discussion the way I want it to be. I've realized that about like public debates and things like that. That just like having a microphone, like if you can talk over someone, it is just a very very powerful tool. Um, and you have to make sure you use that well. And yeah, it's your responsibility to use it responsibly. Okay, so. Portugal is going to have... Okay, they don't have feudalism still, but I, I need to go soon. I think I can wait three turns. The stack is not looking that intimidating right now. It should be enough to take Lagos. That is one of their irons. I can't imagine they don't have a second iron. Yeah. Oh, we could pass this off. That's pretty good. It's a one commerce, but... Yeah, we're kind of in a crunch for commerce right now. How's our we're we're under the unit support cap? Yeah. Philosophy and history. Oh, that's something I'd be happy to talk about. Yeah, absolutely. Do you have a particular favorite era of history? The marginal value of one galley. Oh, good. Oh, fuck. Yeah, good, good catch. Yes, thank you. I'm going to slave that even because that's such good value. Um, Yeah, I want the temple here just for the... If it wasn't the whale, I wouldn't be baited so much, but I do want the temple for that whale. Uh, and I'm so close to being able to slave it. Uh, but after that, I could just slave... Uh, yeah, look, at, look how clean this is. Oh, my God. Nice. Two warriors in... I probably want to plant that, don't I? Yeah, fuck this temple. Um, now, I am a little worried about these. Okay, more swordsmen are trickling in here. I also do need enough gold to hopefully buy France's participation in this war. Solipsism. That's something I heard I heard of, and I'm I'm sure like I'm it would ring a bell if you mention it, but I, I don't remember off the top of my head what that is. Is it Greek? Definitely. The name certainly sounds Greek. Might have been is that the thing like ans uh, asking questions to to get answers? Or to like help people come to encounter answers on their own, maybe.
Okay. Here we go. This is it. So we'll deal with whatever's in these. I, I think it's just settlers. I don't know. Maybe they're fighting a war against America or something by, by boat. Um, so we're going to call it Portugal. We're just going to declare war. And we're going to go to France. And we're going to pray. Oh my god, I need an embassy. Oh my god, I need an embassy. Oof, for one. <sighs> Fucking hell, okay. Are they- are you already at war? Why- What? What's going on here? I haven't seen them lose any cities. <laughs> They're just like down to fucking scrap here? <laughs> what the heck? Um... <laughs> no, they are just down to sc I think they might even pay me for a military alliance against a nation they're not at war with. What's going on here? <laughs> Uh, what the fuck? I, I, I don't think I've ever seen them pay me for something like this. Is this established AI behavior? They are not at war with Portugal unless I... Yeah, they're not at war with Portugal. And they're still willing to pay me to have a military alliance against Portugal. I mean, it makes sense. Like, they're in a weak position. Like, to get back into this game... Sorry, it makes no sense from what I know about Civilization Three. But if you assume they were a human player, it would make sense. Because, hey, China's got a strong army. If we 2v1 Portugal, Portugal's very strong. But we can take them out right now if we do this. So... It makes sense from that perspective. Is the AI actually that smart, though? I don't know. But uh, I'm happy to get literature, and maybe someone else does not have literature if I'm super lucky. Um, I can probably sell my horses. Wait, I should be careful. Hold your horses, Wait, he might even say. Uh, I actually should not be careful. Fortune favors the bold. So let's uh, sell these horses. So we don't fuck our economy. <laughs> oh, it's just a... It's like cooking. Maybe they they don't like their cooking or something. Piri Piri sauce is not for Joan, I guess. Oh, speaking of Joan, have you guys seen the, the new series of season of Black Mirror yet? I've been really enjoying it. Just two episodes in, so no spoilers, but, uh... Oh, fuck off. Oh, my God. Ugh, fuck. I was even, like, didn't move these guys up, because I, I didn't want that to happen. Whatever. Okay, at least I can stop them from... As long as they don't get on top of the mountain, that's fine. Just sucks losing tempo on the attack. Okay, I'll go here, just... I don't know. So they don't fork my cities here. Okay. Um. I guess from here we'd go west. Looks like there's some sea tiles there too. So. New season of Black Mirror. Have you seen that show much yet? It's basically phone bad, uh, but it's pretty well done. Uh, it, it can be kind of hit and miss sometimes. Definitely. So it's a show, and the theme of the show is, like, often to do with technology and, like, the darker side of human nature. It's not completely pessimistic, though. It has some more optimistic episodes, and even the darker episodes have more optimistic elements to them. But a common theme is, like, how technology is bad. Or how technology brings out bad things in humans. But it's like an anthology, so there's no... Um, there's very rarely any recurring characters and uh, no recurring settings or anything. Just new episode, new gimmick, new setting, everything like that. Yeah, so if you're into like... Oh my, oh my fucking god. 
we could ha we could just have that city right now. That's the worst thing right now is that um shit, is this across a river? We could just have Lagos and we could be like attacking these guys out of Lagos. Um the jungle is actually in our favor. Oh my god. This is brutal. I'm considering splitting my stack. Oh no, they just went home. Interesting. What? Did I end turn? Why did it walk a catapult there? Why did it? I don't even know what happened there, man. I have no clue. I guess we're going for the attack since we've committed. Yeah, as long as we have a little defensive bombard, it should be fine. What happened? Oh, the turn ended and they... What? I don't know. Hegel or Hegel. Yeah, it's interesting how Marx is just like such a prominent theorist in like so many different disciplines. Uh, like I know in sociology, he's a big deal. I am not about to lose this fucking city. Um, right before the temple finishes. Yeah, not on my watch. Yeah, like, so sociology, economics, um, philosophy, cultural stuff, and anything like cultural studies like that is like, oh, now we're talking about Marx. Uh, I don't know if any of you guys took humanities in university, but very common, like, you'd show up to, like, first level course or second level course, it'd be like, by the way, we're talking about Marx now. Um, about three classes into whatever class you're taking. Yeah, let's pay for the upgrade here. Ah, fuck, I I did wait a while there. I'm wondering if I waited too long. He he can now threaten the city. It's fine. Like, did I bring enough? I guess if my RNG is good. Thank God he didn't get Great Wall. Oh my god, man. Oh, I gotta go for it. Ugh, fuck me. At least he didn't promote. I think this is just a case where I hit. Yeah, okay. I'm gonna hit again, actually. Whatever. Again, at least I he didn't promote. Uh, they're weak now. I can probably wipe his stack. This is good. So I got some guys in reserve. Nice. Yeah. Okay, good thing I got that promoted. Oh, I got these I got this whole stack here. Yeah. Fuck it. He can't mess with me here. Okay, yeah, we can move on. And we're going to take the city next turn. Stop the ancient cavalry before they become a threat. I mean, they were just immediately a threat here. And I could attack them from a few different directions. So it, it made sense to me. Uh, we will get the border expand in Anyang. Oh, speaking of Anyang, are you guys excited for the Avatar The Last Airbender reboot? That should be some fun. Okay, uh, again, we, we do need to slave these down. I don't want to be losing one of these random ass cities to... Oh, hold up, there's two good units, perfectly good units here. Let's stop him from landing there. I can do that. Oh shit, he could actually I should have spread out my workers. He could one two he could land here. 
Well, not much I can do. I'm getting ivory next turn, so that should help my happiness. So I could pull units out of the central cities to move them around. Wait, what is the trick about completing roads before the turn ends? Um, sorry, you skip. We this was a while ago, but yes, I, I'll show you when the next time we get the chance. Uh, it's a good thing to show off. Basically, you just do control R as long as you have another move queued up. So automation will work. Um, good luck getting it to automate the word move you want. But if you do like road two, like it can't be the end of a road two. So if I have like a worker here and I do road to the hill, it won't work. But if I'm on the hill and I rode to somewhere else, so I would finish the road and then I would walk to another tile, that counts as having another move queued up, um, and it would work in that case. So as long as you have another move queued up, as long if you do wait with all your units, it should finish the road in the middle of the turn. That means you get to use the road. Um, so you can have your cities come out like a turn earlier. Is that well known in uh, the single player community, Lucian? That you can, I, I mean, it's just so obvious from automation that I, I can't imagine it not being. Well known. What the fuck? I don't know what happened there. Oh, and now he's got pikes. Jesus, and I don't even have artillery. Okay, we're. He's. Go with the horses first. And now with the swords. Okay. Fuck off. Oh my god. Okay. Good, we got the elites. Oh my god. We go. I'm not gonna fuck around for. Oh Jesus fucking Christ! Finally. I think we take here. Yeah. Okay. From now on, I'm gonna make sure I have my uh, catapults when I attack. That last round was a little dicey. Nietzsche? I've heard he's un misunderstood. Okay, looks like he's just going home. Okay, so you can go up north. And we'll keep the swordsman just like for coastal defense, I guess. Yeah. Well, remember, we're, we're committed for 20 turns here, guys. So, um... We need. Okay, like the city might flip. It's not. It's, it's, we don't. We just don't lose that much if it flips, and we gain a lot by planting it. So it's worth it to plant. Okay. Kind of close to their capital. Do they have any wonders in Lisbon? That's a good thing to point out. Thank you. They have, oh, they have Statue of Zeus. Okay. Um, oh my god. So if we could do like a one death march to take out their capital, that would be good. I don't think that will work, though. I think, yeah, I think the attack would just fail. We did lose quite a bit attacking here. Yeah, like we got some swordsmen coming up. And I think we can get the city, but I, I think we're going to be out of luck. Um, oh, fuck off, man. Oh, my God. Okay, that makes this one more likely to flip, so we need to be careful. That was just such a, like, such a big chunk of land to have, too. And the, he's got iron from somewhere else, clearly. And it makes this more likely to flip. This is actually quite likely to flip now. At least it has no foreign citizens. Uh, yeah, no foreign citizens. Maybe I should have starved it. Um, better or worse than humans on narrow fronts? Um, good question. Like, where do you think the humans have the advantage? Um, sometimes I feel on wider fronts, it's harder to, like, have, it's harder to focus. Because there's just so many options. 
but on narrow fronts it's like it's harder for the ai to fuck up which is kind of important <laughs> uh at a certain point i'd say if you have high movement units i'd rather have a bigger front if you have low movement units i'd probably rather have a narrower front that might be a good way to call it oh and if you have artillery certainly i'd rather have the narrow front because you can just grind them down Um, one option we have is we could plant a city right here, and that would get us closer to Lisbon. I, I don't know if we're going to take that. I think I would like to get whatever this... This is just not a very useful city. Shit. <laughs> God. You know what? At least we're redlining them whenever they enter my land. And can I do this? It sucks that he still has this option. What? Oh, that's my elite. Oh my god. Um okay, so this just cuts off. Um these are horses, yeah, this is fine actually. We'll go here so we can't like land a a super annoying tile. So the road two thing, yeah, imagine you control R off the tile. Be careful because like if you need to do worker moves, like if I need to do more worker moves over here and there's a road here, I would lose the ability to go there in one turn and it would not be worth it anymore. Um, but yeah, it just lets you get the road halfway through the turn, which is very, very useful in some cases. I mean, it's just free movement for free, basically, which is good. Um, too many pikes in medieval infantry. If you're gonna use artillery, better abandon seized artillery. Okay, good thing I have like one catapult in the back here. He didn't actually land on an improved tile. I actually don't really need my tile improvements too badly, so yeah, I think I'm ready to go next turn. Uh, let's do this, I guess. Good, yeah. Now, a military great leader would be very helpful here. I feel like it's very slow progress without that. So maybe I could be blessed at some point. Uh, that works. That's fine. Yeah. Yeah, the road finished halfway through the turn. Ex exactly like that. Um, yeah, just the extra HP, the movement, just like people, there's not like a good, lot of good options in Civ 3, so people don't think about it, but there is a lot of value in having a mobile defensive unit. It's just very, very good. And I really wish the MP were like not on a rushing sieve. Like imagine Greek traits with the MP as the unique unit. I think it would teach a lot of people fundamental things about what is valuable in Civ 3 combat and what is not. It's an interesting to put place to put that. Okay. Um some of these swords are not completely healed. I think we're gonna wait one more turn then. Okay, finally, let's uh, settle some debts. How are things going here? Nothing catastrophic. They haven't broken through. Kind of good if they're splitting our, their focus a little. Ah, this guy actually also makes it in time for the invasion. And so does he. Good. That's nice.
now I, I will have a lot more agency when the fucking oh my god that's kind of a coin flip there oh my god I, but I need this dead yeah thank god otherwise he's just going to attack me and I think at this point just yeah that's the bigger danger to the city and not the lack of military units Okay, let's go. <sighs> Fucking for real. I don't have anything around that can... Maybe this? Okay, I'm not wasting that many turns. I guess this just has to be an archer then? He could... He's, he's not going to attack into the city, but if he did, he <laughs> would have a chance of taking the city outright, which would be very inconvenient for me. But... Okay, I'm actually going to go here. Oh, the catapults actually need to go there. Huh. I guess these guys aren't here for the party after all. Okay. Um, most advanced and large military, keeping cities on the border or other advantageous making armies, makes it easier to invade and defend cities. Yeah, especially if you're despotism. There's not, like, a ton of reasons not to be at war. God, when is this gold per turn going to end? Trades. Four turns. Eh, more than I thought, even. God, and now this one's more likely to flip. Ah, BG there. That's good. Okay, here comes the pikes. Oh, that's so weak. I think this is the stronger tile, so I'm going to actually use this here. Oh my god, they're so good. It's with like it's almost a coin flip. Okay. It's not even roaded, Jesus. Okay, so I can just simply safely do that. Uh if I can weaken this with a vet, good, yeah, and then I can do that. Good. Not fun, but it deals with the problem. Oh, I never even moved these swords in. Huh. Okay, really want to stop cities from disordering if you're going to... Uh, if you've just taken them, because it makes it really li much more likely that it's the biggest thing you can do to stop a city from flipping. That and starving it down. Okay, so... Jeez, <laughs> these battles are just so much harder than they need to be, I feel. Exactly, any simmers, yeah. It's not like Crusader Kings or Europa Universalis, where it's like, you really need a peace deal, and they're actually really fucked too by the war, but they just won't make any peace that's favorable. Like, they want all their land back if they want to make peace with you. Not gonna, not in Civ Three, no. And they will actually give you additional tiles, even if they're about to retake some of their cities or something. Okay, this is good. Um, I think here we just... I would love the MGL, but I think like getting keeping units is pretty important too here. Good, and we're still getting M. I do not like having this guy in my land. Not one bit. Oh my god. Any... I could do this, I guess. Yeah, it's fine. Again, these easy battles are harder than they should be. At this point, like, I might as well make one last push for, for Lisbon. Um, I can upgrade th this. Let's do this. 
fuck it. Oh no, these are Portuguese workers. Mm. And now because he's actually blocking my tiles, I, <laughs> I can't join another. That's really annoying. <laughs> You know what, we're currently at war, so like a flip would not be the end of the world right now. Oh my fucking hell. The one place where I actually do need workers is like to join these cities and chop chop out these temples, but I'm just not getting it. Okay. Should be pretty easy to set this up now. Again, I'm not sure if it's going to work. They might have a lot of units there, but getting a Porto would be a massive, massive swing. Or getting their capital, sorry. Porto would be fine, I guess. Okay. Um, France seems to be slaving their border cities a bit. Capital is still size 5. They're holding for now. Is he really sitting there blocking the growth of that city? That is Delulu, that what? How is that a programmed like sometimes the strategies they use <gasps> that they're programmed to do in this game just like catch me so off guard? Do we have any? <sighs> this late horse can't even make it. Um, he's just a vet, yeah. I want all my horses to stay at full health so let's get this in Braga got the vet archer here oh this is all coming coming together good uh hey hey Vienna Lee um of course, yeah. So the thing is I, I do see everyone's comments. Sometimes like I don't I'm not don't have time to reply, but I do read all of your comments if you post them on my channel. Even if it's a super old old video. Oh, sorry. I, I guess there's sometimes there's like a weird bug where uh it's just not showing up for whatever reason. I don't get the notification. But I do have notifications on for individual comments. So if I'm on YouTube, and I do spend a lot of time on YouTube, um I will see your comment. And if it's something I can help with, I'll respond to it. So I'm glad I could help you with that. Uh, were you the one asking about um, the diplomacy sound glitch or, or something else? I cannot believe, if it's the diplomacy sound glitch, I cannot believe that Firaxis hasn't patched that yet. It's really, really unprofessional of them. just break and it's not even like they didn't fix the broken game just the game they broke the game when they bought it for steam sorry not for access steam they broke the game when they bought it for steam and then they didn't fix it okay yeah another wave of units okay that's that's annoying but that's just one pike right um would be nice i'm gonna go with this no okay jesus jesus oh my god this game is like pulling teeth with some of these combats it's uh something else definitely did you see that though one pike stack of five units down to the wire oof <sighs> Shit like that. Yeah, the, the, there goes most of my stack. And they're probably going to hit into this. And if they hit into that, that's fine. Okay, we still have a slow trickle of swordsmen coming from like my cap and from Canton, other cities. I 
could like slave. I guess the push would probably be okay. We'll probably with these swordsmen, yeah. So we'll do the archer here. It's a horseman. Good. It's an elite too. That's good. Okay, if this was grassland, it wouldn't be an issue at all. I just need the irrigated tiles in order to get Pouting to be big enough to like for me to join workers to get up to size four or size three or whatever. Nah, you guys entertain me with your comments. There's some good stuff in there. Someone, okay, someone told me that for the monotheism I, it actually appears on the bottom of the pyramid too. That blew my mind. I, I didn't see that until recently. I was like, wow, what the fuck? Uh, that I would not have noticed that on my own. So thank you for that. Um, I did not appreciate like five different people telling me that, oh, actually the Ankh is a symbol of ancient Egypt associated with early spirit. Yeah, I get it. Yeah, I, I knew that. Um, and if you listen to the, if you watch the video, it's pretty clear that that one I knew, the flintlock one, I say, I don't know what the fuck this is. Um, but I know what an Ankh is. They, they just had something like they could very clearly show in a literal sense, ceremonial burial, and they chose to abstract it anyway. That was the point I was making. Um, I guess we're doing engineering. Can trade for dyes with France. Do we have anything for them? Silks for dyes? Oh my, I'm bigger than them. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. I guess we're doing min speed engineering or something. Uh, happy Father's Day to you too, Harry. Any dads out here in the audience? Um, but yeah, like I, I knew what an ank was. I, I didn't need other people telling me what an ank was. Like if it's a question I've seen before, that's totally okay. I'm okay getting the same question a million times. A million times. I've answered, like my video library is pretty deep and the videos are pretty long. So I don't care if I've talked about it a million times. I'll tell you again. Or I'll point to a, a video where I clearly do. Um, but... No, this is just straight up going to starve. Oh my god, what a waste. I could disband units, but I need this units to fight. It's rough. Uh, yeah, so quite, I don't mind getting the questions over and over, same questions over and over again, uh, but... One, two... Yeah, okay, that's swordsman for two, that's good. Can't do that here, though. Uh, but getting like the same observation on the videos, is, it can be frustrating sometimes. They're still fighting France, right? Okay, uh, I guess I'm... He's, this one just like. I'm wondering, wondering what I should do. I think I need to take this slow. Yeah, something like. Like this. Thank God I won that. Could you imagine if I. I can completely imagine if I lost that. That sounds absolutely like something that might happen. Um, I guess I need to wait another turn. Yeah. I need 20 in the box. I'm getting two per turn. That's not bad. Uh, this extra catapult's useful too, because they, they are sending quite a few units every turn. Democracy tech graphic. I didn't take a look at that. Is there anything weird going on? This is like one of those weird lim liminal space. Oh, it's kind of weirdly not 3D. It looks kind of painted on here. This looks good though. The dome, the dome's looking good. Yeah. And it feels like just like, if you just see it in the tech tree, it just looks like a cloudy day or something, right? That one, that one, I'll give them a pass on. Ooh, 
Ooh, Archer coming up soon. Shovel. <laughs> could you imagine? And no, the Ankh would be better than the Shovel. But they could just like draw like a, an ancient funeral. I guess that would probably involve some research as well as some more detailed animations and maybe didn't have time for that. Okay, so let's see this here. Kind of healed. I do actually need to hit this one first. Yeah, like, this guy can't actually do anything. I guess he could sit on this road, which might be annoying. Oh, did I get attacked into here? Oh my god. And now I don't have enough artillery, so I have to take... Can I do this? Oh, fuck off, man. Oh. Fine. I'm seriously considering like just pillaging that road there. Um, if I just get one, this should be fine. Like, I don't think they would. I think the idea here would be we go next turn. God, we're not even close to getting another food here. Yeah, we need this chopped out. Ooh, another catapult coming. Good, that's that's useful. We probably want this as a catapult too. The mic sound is low. I can talk. I, I should just be talking louder, I think. If, if, let me know if this is not enough, but um, yeah, I can turn it up, I guess. There you go. Just a little louder. Oh, God, I need to sort out this war. Like, what, I'm kind of floundering a bit here. Because uh, I'm falling, while, while all this is happening, I'm falling behind in tech. So hold up. I need some defensive, it's like some spears would be useful. I think we could afford to lose Braga if we take Lisbon. Although. It's a lot harder for us to flip if we have both. Anyway, something to consider. I think what we do actually is... We need to get these fish in the barrel dead. Oh, God. Please hit. <sighs> Three health. Do we really think... Do we realistically think that we, we actually have enough to, to take him out here? Honest question. Take out Lisbon? Like, how much would we need for Lisbon? I think no. So let's pray for MGLs, I guess. Oh, this is good. This might bait him onto the horse. Yeah, I don't mind the horse. Horse might even retreat, which would be good. I think at this point, it, I would seriously consider cutting that road if I have the chance next turn. Oh my god. I think I need to let this disorder... No, I can just put shit in. That was a mistake, but it's one that I can fix. Oh my god. Really? Oh my god. Fuck off. This is so brutal. Okay. Let's move this up. Uh, they're not doing any more naval attacks because they've decided they would rather just be a, be a dick with this. <laughs> Starve his old city. God. So the the idea is next turn I get into position. And then the turn after that I move on Lisbon. And I pray. 
Oh my god. You know what? These guys weren't going to make it into the party anyway. Hmm, good RNG too. Huh. At least the ivory is holding for now. Two Fet Spearmans. Oh, yeah, that's that's good to have. We need Fet Spearmans. Let's go west. Absolutely nothing yet. <laughs> Fuck. Okay, slaving this down. Good. I don't care if it starves anymore. Who cares? fact, yeah, let's just do that. And we can do not that. <laughs> that is very much not something we want to do. We can do this, though. Five gold. Oh, that works out, too. So he's going to push onto this. Now, we can use a horse. This is what we're going to do. We're going to use the horse to bait him to moving onto the forest tile. And that would unlock us to to go for the kill. So we've got all this. We've got this too. Yeah. Okay. I, I just hope get pray he doesn't get he gets baited. Oh, he will get Braga back off of this. Oh my god! I got one iron off of him. This whole war. I think I might get attack. Yeah. We'll see. Oh, he, I don't know what happened, but it looked like he got baited there. Okay, the galley RNG2, not working in our favor. Shit. Okay. Can we wait? Oh, our horsemen retreated too. I think we can just wait another turn and then save Braga, which strikes me as worth it. Oh, what would that entail, though? I know it would be two more turns, because we need to... Again, strikes me as worth it, because we're going to get the Spearman in, and that's good. And I, I don't know what happened to his units, but... They're not where they should be. Okay. It's fine. Again, we use the horses for this. And we do have a horseman. Yeah, good. We can still retreat. Good. Okay. It's shaping up well. Let's put this back up, I think. I actually think I cannot chain... I can chain irrigation over from here if I go into her land. Uh, otherwise, no. Oh, but good news is I think the extra horsemen are going to make it to the party too. Maybe that'll make a difference. And we're going to do that, too. Like, you might as well use the happiness you have. Slaving is a very good sometimes. Um, it's just a resource you have to spend. And some, like, we don't need the population here. We don't need the happiness here. We have three lux. So let's fight for some more using this catapult. Braga has been flipping. It flipped once. Ugh, I, I want to move on to Lisbon, right? If I just decided I wanted to defend, I could put down the resistors and it'd be fine. But... Okay. Oh, this is fine. This this. Oh my god. Pray, guys. Pray. 50-50. And we lost. Okay. So do we... No, we need Braga, actually, for the... Ugh, for the fucking border. This is just so frustrating.
lunacy. Yeah, just France is not pulling off their weight. There's just too many units coming in from Portugal. Hmm. I'm wondering if there's a faster way. I think we need to do this and this, and then we could do have a faster pipeline. Let's move this, I guess, as bait. Oh, I think he'll heal. It might be close though. Let's bring let's bring everything up. We've got a bunch of gold too, for what it's worth. I don't think we have anything to upgrade though. So we could tech. 31 turns. I think I'm better off with the flexibility of the gold. I say immediately removing that flexibility and just going for <laughs> dumb shit. It's fine. Uh, let's make sure, yeah, let's get this done. We got like a mini timing push going here with these upgrades coming up. Oh my god, this we lose that, and then we don't even kill the unit, and he's gonna attack with this. So we just lost three units potentially. That was good RNG though. No complaints there. Is he gonna get in the city now? Oh my god. That's such such a fucking cornball if he does that. I think we coin flip this. Yeah, I guess it works. France threw in the towel. Did France did they make peace? Oh, they did. I wonder how long ago that was. Um, sorry, I wasn't paying attention to chat if it happened earlier. Uh, but yeah, that is really relevant. Um, I think we should pivot back to England, I guess. Then I don't. Yeah, like secure this. We're fine. Like we have, if we have Braga, we have the option to go for a Porto whenever. So it doesn't matter if we lose a bunch here. It's okay. Get our shit together. Go for go for England. Oh, we can do aqueduct here. Oh no. Shit, Jesus. Talk about going all in. That's fine. Really? Okay. It's still on the cart. It's still on the on the table, guys. Don't worry. <laughs> the copium continues. one little bright spot of RNG. Okay. We could just make peace right now. What am I saying? Um, I clicked on technology and I was like, oh, they'll accept this, but I was trying to click on Republic. They actually, that's not bad. How how fucked is my economy in a republic right now? Not that fucked actually. Uh, I could use some bigger cities, I guess. Oh my lord. Okay. Yeah, and you know what? Even if I'm going straight for port... Wait, what was the rule? Where it was like, okay to break the peace treaty deal? 
what was the situations where it's okay to break, break the break, break the peace treaty deal deal tell me i think if i'm giving gold per turn it's not okay if i can just like attack him like in five turns from now that's fine um Do I want Repul No, I want to. I want. I want to get this. I want to get his fucking wonder. Yeah, fuck that. I'm just gonna. Get, I'm just gonna get peace, and I'm gonna break the the deal in a few turns. He actually does not have that many cities. Sure. Okay. I don't know what this is. Free tax collectors for a few turns, I guess. I don't know. Maybe it'll cut down his unit support and fuck his economy a bit. Okay, yeah. We're just gonna keep on stacking up, and we're gonna go in, like, five turns or something. Aren't you be supposed to be the one reminding us? Um, crowdsourcing, guys. <laughs> this is my reminder, but I, I'm I'm telling you, I'm not really sure. So if someone else... There are some single... Like, Lucian's a better player than I am at single player, so he probably knows better than I do. And then there are probably some other solid to decent players here in the audience, if not absolute uh, wreckers. Most defensible city. Um, so Lucian, if we don't like make any commitments in the peace tre deal itself, it's okay to break the peace treaty, right? Give Sagres for best on Khan. You can't trade. The AI doesn't do that. So the, the way it worked was in Civ 2 is really, really exploitable that you could just like give give your cities for like a billion text to the AI and then just take the cities back because they'd be empty. Um, Civ 3 doesn't work that way. They only do it in peace. They won't negotiate with you if you're trying to take their cities, right? Like you can get it for the peace trail, but if you're like asking for gold in a peace, if you're like offering gold for the peace treaty in exchange for their cities in peace, they won't do that. They won't even play ball at all. Wait, hold up. I could just plant this and I could just like dump myself onto Lisbon. This works really well. We're doing round two, baby. We got a few tiles off that, at least. Let's put the resistance down while we have the chance. Don't think catapults help with putting resistance down, if I'm not mistaken. Probably shouldn't be keeping so much in here. Dump myself? Yeah, don't, don't. Don't quote me too directly. <laughs> uh, just dump, like, just, like, show up at his doorstep, basically, after having planted on it. God, I can't even get the irrigation in. At least I can make Dover decent. Maybe I should have raised Braga. That would have been, yeah, I should have raised Braga. That was a mistake. Oh, wait, and we just have a free... De we can just kick him out of our land. We have a free declaration of war when we want it. So, yeah. Just everything get to the front line. He's not even at war with us. He can't complain. Sorry, I'm speaking really quietly. This is not my microphone right now. This is me just being a quiet person for no reason while I am streaming to... Dozens of people, tens, a few people, streaming, two people. Okay, um, Macau's actually producing good stuff now. Good for it. And maybe we can get some more irrigated plain styles here that we clearly need. Fuck it, let's go for gold, guys. I want that aqueduct, but... This city has just reliably produced a bunch of catapults for us, Shinan. Maybe I've been... <laughs> maybe I've been fucking... That's a sign I've been really fucking slow, but... I think it's produced like five or six.
Yeah, this is so much easier. Oh my god. Yeah, like we're gonna have like a 20 stack instead of like a an 8 stack, a damaged 8 stack. Yeah, that's good. 50-ish people. Oh, nice. Thank you for the heads up. Yeah, it's because um, I'm streaming on two computers, right? I got one just with my stream setup and the other one where I'm like watching chat and stuff. So it's it's hard for me to see. So thank you for the heads up. And that's a nice audience for us to have. It is a bit of a comeback stream, so. And it's classic single-player Civ 3. How could you object to classic single-player Civ 3? I say, despite... Oh, my God. Ah! Knights, too. Oh my God. I was asking for that. Was I not just, like, fucking asking for that? Okay. I can't even profit off that war. It's just a useless war. Unless I fuck my reputation. Okay, so I guess we're doing England... This is fine. She'll take the horses too. Okay. That solves that. I lost my Lux. Um... Yeah, chat's going, play some mods. I don't like doing mods. First of all, I'm, I'm not very good at mods. Second of all, people, I have to explain everything that's going on. If I if I actually know what's going on, that is. Big assumption. Um. So yeah, I prefer to play classic or something very close to classic. Or multiplayer, which, again, people don't watch multiplayer a lot as much as single player for a few different reasons. Um, But at least I like multiplayer. I don't really like playing mods that much myself it would have to be a, if it was a very good mod i would i guess yeah uh but i don't check that often so let's try we're just going from here i think that's fine you know what whatever we're not It's not like we're, um, it's not like we're in Republic, right? If this was in Republic, this would be potentially game ending even, but we're not. This is fine. That's just, whatever. I didn't want to lose that one to England because of their iron, but first of all, they clearly have another iron. Second of all, I, I don't need that iron. I've got other iron myself. Okay, Dover's more defensible. We can maybe even, like, get an attack together eventually, although... I defend depend how things go here. So, Settler's coming out. Chinese Settler. I guess the sword... Yeah, the swords are going here. So, I'm gonna... Because this is a good thing to retake, right? More valuable than getting Oporto or whatever. Oh, interesting. I'm not... I have no nothing invested in tech, so... That's something I should watch out for. I guess the city goes here or here? We'll do... If I can get this faster, I think the tempo is important. Because, like, Portugal's just building up units right now. Yeah, let's do that. Uh, oh, shit. Uh, fuck. Um. These are American boats that might have stuff in them. Oh, my God. If there's, like, two knights. No, like, this has to be slaved. This has to be slaved. Ugh even get that in there too 
Okay. Oh my god. Just Okay, what are they do they sink in the No, they don't do that. They don't third in a row. Third in a row. Just nothing. Cannot catch a break to save my life. I like how they're still like they're at war with England, but they're still pushing into my land. Okay. Um This should be fine. Okay, yeah, so this should hold. Dover should hold, and then England should mop them up for me. And at that point, I can maybe think about start pushing back. And they, for some reason, have not gone for attacks here. Okay, so next turn, I'm actually ready to go next turn. So let's have everything here. If you could stop zapping me all the way over here, that'd be nice. Bit of a detour, but helps defend our coastal cities. Um, should I be concerned about... Worried about that. I could do... Yeah, I can just do that. It's fine. Everything else is ready to go here. That's a pretty impressive stack. Yeah, we'll see what we can do. If we get that city, even if we just have it for like 20 turns. And we, we just park units outside. Yeah, we could stay despotism because I think we could afford some more Wars of Conquest over here. As long as we're getting those um, those units. And we're a militaristic set, right? So it, I think it makes sense as a game plan. Uh, hey, Adam. Can anyone help me? I'd like to play with multiplayer server against the AI. Um, Good. Hey, Adam. Yeah. Um... So do you have the game on Steam or do you have the game on somewhere else? So like somewhere else, I mean on CD or on good old games or do you have a pirated copy? Yeah, Steam or somewhere else. I guess that's fine. Oh, no, fuck off. <laughs> Jesus. Okay, um, I don't have a spear here. Let's pray. Pray harder. Pray even... Okay, I was going to say abandon the... If, if I lost all four of those battles, the abandon the game was the one I was working up to. Okay, um, but we're going to war with Portugal right now. Shit! Oh, no, we're not in position. Oh, my God. <laughs> one more turn. One more turn. We get one more swordsman, too, for the attack. Uh, for our troubles... Okay. Yeah, they, they don't they're at war with England, so they, they can't just surprise me with something. France does have coastal cities. I could Yeah. It's going north. No, this is going back here. No, I can't get I, I... I can't get America against... I can't get either of these civs against France, so... Yeah, I, I guess I'm doing no... That's probably good I'm doing no military alliance against Portugal. Just... As long as England and Portugal don't ally against me, I should be okay. And England's got other problems on their hand, so... Let's... Let's just do this right away. Good. Getting pillaged up, that's good. If England gets pillaged, that makes it easier for me to kill him. Hey, uh, Pikachu Chansey. I remember you from the Discord. A fun little inland sea. Yeah, it'd be nice if it was more of it was in vision. But, uh, yeah, it's a bit of a donut continent here. It's kind of weirdly shifted towards the E, like, towards the center of the map. I'm guessing it would be really, really close to, like, if we just head straighties from there, it'd be pretty easy to find the other civs. But, sadly, we have not been that lucky in our naval attempts to make con please tell me i have a unit prepared for that oh my god this is getting worse and worse yeah we need a porto now this is or we need lisbon now so get the fuck out of my land wow he actually got out of my land huh 
Okay, I'm still going to declare war on you, but thank you for being a G. Um, now, if I want to... Yeah. If I don't attack here, he's just going to attack my stack. And I, like I've got like elite guys there, so probably a good idea. Yeah. Good. If I just have like some random guys in Dover, this should hold fine. It's just gonna be singleton attacks or maybe two units at most. I just need to be ready for that. Okay. Oh, the city grew, that's what it was. Um yeah, okay. Um hey Samuel. Who won the Seton tournament? Ah, okay. We actually had to call it because it was just with scheduling. So weirdly, there were two rounds, right? There was the rounds where we had like 14 people, and it was just like whoever signed up would get in the whatever game. And I and that one, I thought it would be chaos because I thought people would not offer enough enough slots, but it actually worked out okay. Um, but so there's 14 people in the first round, seven players per game. Uh and yeah, and just whoever signed up for whatever slot, took the game. We got an even number of people doing an even number of games. The playoffs was just the top seven, and it was just impossible to organize. Even if we said, oh, one person doesn't have to show up, people, it wasn't happening. So we just gamed the game to, um, I believe Zdatis actually won the, the Seaton tournament. Yeah, and Rabdeg was second. He placed second in all of his individual games, and he placed second in the tournament overall. So congratulations to them. I might not have done an announcement, so I'm sorry if that was the case. Uh, I really should have done that. 40 turns later, we might actually get our whale. Anyang is definitely enjoying their whale right now. They are a whale-enjoying city. Let's get a spear here. They might take the city. We might as well make the city useless for them if they're potentially going to take it. Okay, can we... At some point, I'd, I'd like to tech engineering, but might not be in the cards right now. Expected that. It just got raised. I did not expect that not to fall. Uh, although I probably honestly did not give it much of a thought. That actually destroys my road, interestingly. It destroys their road, too. No? So, please. Okay, finally. Just give me, like, a couple hits, man. This is like four bombard, right? Okay, that's I'll I'll take it. This is a no, it's not a coin flip. It's in his favor. Okay, finally. Yeah, I'm going to lose a lot here, but I think I this is a take. Easy, yeah. Okay. At this point, if there's a, if they're showing any like reg medieval infantry or something like that, I should attack with the the horsemen because they can at least retreat. Horsemen are not likely to retreat against against the pikes because the pikes will if they win they'll probably be at one health. Huh. Another elite. I can't get much more health than elite. I think that was a win. Oh my god. Here we go. Down to the... Oh, fucking hell. Just do a damage before you die. I'm okay as long as you do a damage, man. No. Get a... Wait. The hero. The spear. Yes! Oh my god. <laughs> we lost a lot there. Um but we like we have enough that we can like hold the city. It should be okay. Uh I think this one the horses go in and this one guards the the damaged units that don't suck. This should be fine. Whew. 
Okay. Living on the edge here, guys. Living on the edge. Um, now, I guess England might naturally be disadvantaged in this war. Evora. I think Evora is here. Oh, hey, we got some chopped. Yeah, I can use that. Now we just need to hold against America, and then if we, we'll need to park guys outside. I think with all these catapults, we should actually be fine with just like two guys in the catapults over here, and then the rest can go in the city. We do have to hold the city against their attacks too. Oh, Portugal and America. Good for them. France is actually coming for me through Portugal's land. That's rough. Um, hmm, looks like they lost attacking, or they... Yeah, it was close, at least. Oh, no, maybe they did lose. Okay. Um, MGL chance isn't too good to pass up. Yeah, so for this turn, we're just going to pull these guys out. The city could flip, and we'd be fucked, but we need to put down the resistance quickly. We could just straight up slay the temple when the time comes, so. Oh my god. <laughs> Look at this. What the f So, such a pain in the ass. God. That should be fine, okay. We got some horses there. Walls are actually pretty cheap. That's a nice improvement there. How did, did you lose Segres? Yeah, I lost Segres. <laughs> it's okay, there's zero units in the city that was gonna fall. Um, How's the American front? Ugh. They're, they're actually, kind of pushing through but you know england england not losing any cities i'll say they should be able to get their shit together eventually like the roads fuck them with their mobility and it like it hurts them in the long term but it shouldn't like cause them to collapse so i think we'll be okay hmm, actually i actually have some units here two resistors okay Yeah. Oh my god. Do you guys remember, what's the trick for making sure the city doesn't disorder when you resistors happen? There's gotta be something we can use. Um, Let's do this. Yeah. Good chance of an MGL. Like, it's just such a game changer when I get the MGL. Horse first, I guess. Oh, yeah, sometimes you get it. But a good chance of retreating if you don't. Uh, I think maybe if you hack the city screen, you can fix this because I, I don't want to be disordering every turn. Nice. Okay, I've got full catapults to get to. It's flatland too. Really easy to take care of these guys. <laughs> why? Why is there so much irony? Okay. Good. 
Uh, probably should have saved that, but that's fine. I'll work with that for now. Got rid of France. Nice shots, yeah. At this, yeah, at this point, I'm like farming units for free. Oh, I don't have ivory anymore, so it won't actually generate any units. Oh my god. Uh, and I lost my harbor on the conquest. Yeah, I really need this ivory back then. Would America? Oh, that'd piss off England anyway. You know, now if Portugal, I'd consider that. Oh yeah, because England just made peace with me. Yeah. Ugh. We'll see. Not right now. The thing is, like, if they... Did it do this? Oh, no, I gotta stop. I gotta stop. I really have to stop that. Remind me to hack the city screen. Um, shit. Um, yeah, screw that guy. They they only tend to have one unit zone here, so as long as I have two, it, it should be fine. It buys me time at least. Okay, England and America are fighting each other, so if. Not too big of a deal if they're fighting me, too. Anyway, I'm working my way up to, like, accumulating units there. Get fucked, dude. <laughs> Man. Okay. So I I'm going to end my turn. And then I'm going to hack the city screen here so it doesn't, like, do any bullshit. So city screen hacking, hacking is, is this. Just, like, spam F1 at start of turn. Okay, Lisbon's fine now. What? What? Okay. So from here you can go domestic. What? How do you do this again, guys? Whatever. Um... Lisbon, I think. It's in order they were planted, right? So that'd be Lisbon first. Um, it's starved, but it actually seems okay. Oh yeah, it's okay. How? What happened here? How did they break through? Like, how are they pulling units out? They didn't make peace with each other, did they? I'm at war with all of them. Oh my god. <laughs> I can't even see if they're at peace anymore because um, I'm at war with them. I guess that's how it works. Uh, but Portugal will make peace with me. You know, like right now, like it's not like I can retake the city... Yeah, if he if he declares war on me, I can't retake the city. Or if the city flips, I can't retake it. Oh, there it is. Okay. Fuck everything. There it is. We got what we want. Um, make the army first, I guess. Okay. Swordsman. Swordsman. America, I'm fucking coming for you, man. <laughs> okay. So everything else will get outside of this. Uh, I need to keep some stuff in to, re to put the resistance down. Um, oh, this should be fine. ROP is bad because I want to try to use him being in my land as a pretext for war. 
Uh, I can actually take that French city if I really wanted to. They have Great Wall, though, so that's a pain. I want to keep them strong also. I think they might be useful later against Portugal. But it looks like America and England are the big dogs. Okay, so there's that. Again, we do have to go back to war with them, potentially. Please just let me through here. Okay, warrior coming up. And the spearmen too. I'll put down the resistors. Okay, America, we're getting that we're getting that ship back. It's all gonna turn out okay. Portugal's their boats. We don't have to worry about those anymore. Nice, we're doing good, guys. Okay. <laughs> Just casually, yeah. I mean, some of them were at war with each other. I did have an alliance here. I don't know what happened there. Now, I, that means being at war with everybody means you can make peace with whoever you want. So if I can get peace with France, for example, I'd want that. Uh, weird how Portugal was willing so soon... Like, if they let me get my shit together to take these two cities back, Oxford would be nice. I do have the border expand in Oxford permanently, so I don't need to even do a temple there. It's pretty easy to hold. This is my city. I think it had the border expand. Yeah, it had the border. These both have the border expand as soon as I take them back because that stays in the city's memory. Oh, my God. <laughs> what the fuck? Did I get my catapults out at least? Yeah, I got all my catapults out. It's fine. And and then he instantly gener- Fuck off! What? <laughs> Not even his turn? <laughs> oh my god. I got my army out, at least. I do have the army. Like, if I can retake the city, I, I think this is playable. Nope. Here it is. Okay. <laughs> the first turn too. Can you imagine that? Oh my god. I guess the army needs to stay here. Um just keeping the city not from flipping. It's clearly going to flip like retaking it if it flips. And the fucked thing is like if I don't get the ivory back, it's not even producing any units. It's just like a nice city. A strategic city to have it weakens portugal it doesn't do anything though and those that was like all my units that were putting down resistors oh my god get out i just paid him a bunch of gold too you know what the gold is that's what the gold is there for sure okay can pull these guys out I just I need these horses to put down the resistance. Okay. I think. Uh, what time is it? Three thirty-three. Okay. I think I'm gonna call the stream here. We're gonna keep at the save next time I stream. Um. But yeah, this is it for now. Okay. Awesome. I uh, had a lot of fun today, guys. Let me know. What you guys have for advice as to next time. I really need to... I think they're still fighting each other, yeah. If I could just, like, make a clean strategic attack into Newcastle, I think that would be great. And then, like, if, if I just... Ah. Casual BS RNG. If I just have, like, this here Lisbon, and if I have the ivory to produce the unit... That's just such a good source of value that I think I can claw myself back into this game. I guess I'm near my golden age, too. I didn't even consider that, but it would be nice to have chivalry. But yeah, uh, I guess we'll have to see next week or in a couple of weeks. Next time I stream. Is wait for it, death to America. Um, Has a ring to it, uh, but sadly, I think they're a bit out of reach. They're going to be the, the final raid boss here. 
Okay, anyway, um, that's it for today. I'll save it up. Um, Mao Deity. Okay. See you guys next time.